<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Titan's Edge here on Titty's Tyson edge. Fire. I almost said Titty Edge. Anyways. There's two mountains oh just in the distance. Oh my god. I think there's just one big mountain in the Garka. Yeah. Just yeah. One I mean, it's like a mountain coming. range. They call it the Serpent Spine. Of little bitties. You know, it's... Uh, there's another big mountain near Sakura that's kind of separate entity mountain, you know? It's, mm. it's got, like, snow on it and stuff, because seasons... There's seasons in the Garaka? They try. It's not just <laughs> those summer yeah, it's all not the just, time. Yeah, I was going to say, that's just hot all the time. And there's Do my camera in a little bit, because I feel like I'm really small compared to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, Ooh, doo -doo. I also Make feel some... small compared to everyone else. I think it's also just how Alexander tends to crop us. I yeah, part like, of Because I feel like for me, I tend to be actually the most far back in my camera, but he has the chance to be like, I'm going to zoom. To be fair, I have yours cropped because you had the like watermark at yeah, the bottom of your camera for the longest time. And now time. I've paid for a whole year of this product because hey. I was yeah. tired I mean, of not being able to access it. So. It's going to use at least. Mm -hmm. Hey, that hello. Whoa. Well, and now Does I, it can, get any closer? You know, I can probably uh, put um. down as a work expense too. Which is oh, good. definitely, yeah. You can put any actually. stupid purchase that you use on a stream as a work expense. Unless you're like yeah. That's the closest on stream, thing. I guess. <laughs> oh. I'm going to keep it right here the whole time. <laughs> just sh shrink that back. You know what? This is fine. Well, okay. then you can turn your light on and like, then you don't have to worry about the background. <laughs> I will zoom all the way out. Oh my God. Just tiny, okay. tiny, tiny. I don't think that'll do any, that do like much of any. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. zoomed all the way out. Even when I had it cropped like that, the the line was cut off on the top. Mm. I want to be right here. You can be right there. Right okay. here. I might need to yeah. mirror you if you stay like that, but that's fine. I no, I you yeah, mirror me. I don't like it how it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like I'm facing away from everybody instead yeah. of forward. <laughs> You're just looking in the other direction. All right, how do I mirror you again? I can just flip this, do that, this, this, I don't that, think and then I can do it. Nah, I got it. I can do this though. You're good. You. I saved you. And Mitch just looks all kinds of different directions the whole time. So look at him going. Yeah, it's I have no way of reading him. It's because my webcam's in the middle of my two monitors. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I have to look left to see you guys. I have to look right to look at the. That's right. Yeah, I, I mean that's I my problem vertical. too. I got all my stream yeah. stuff and the and the one game yeah. over here. I got the. Honestly, I have it set up as dumb as possible. I have the have, display have three thing monitors? in the middle. Yeah. Oh, I want a third monitor so over. bad. I well, highly I recommend one. three monitors. I have one monitor, and it is a beautiful monitor. I want I have a vertical monitor. Here. I have one there, and then I have one up, and it's it's real good. That's what oh, I yeah, think I I'm going to end up doing on that wall, because I want to build a desk, <laughs> and then I'm going to have, like, I'm going to mount the, the two monitors to the desk and then mount a TV on the wall, so it's, like, a mm -hmm. bigger yeah, thing. Um, if I can get like a swivel mount, then I can like pull it out and it can like face my bed. <laughs> Ooh, that's right. cool. Oh, and they can watch movies that way, yeah. Yeah, nice. if not, because I can't mount it on the wall in front of me because it's like slanted because of the way the roof was Makes sense. built. Um, or I want like yeah, a vertical monitor because vertical monitor was very nice. Tyser has one. I know. It was so weird when I went to see him. It was just like this. You're like, what is this thing. monitor doing? And he can like, like this? turn it around and be like, look at me. I can switch my thing around. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. He doesn't because he's got his Mac and that is. Or... Yes. I have three monitors, but set up very basic. They all just have like regular stands on them. And the two side ones may or may not be leaning off certain edges most of the time. But that's fine. Mine are cool oh. and mine are mounted. If I don't bump into them, they won't fall. It's fine. It's not that bad. No, it's I have mine up on like little glass, or like not little, but like risers. Oh. Yeah, yeah mine are, are up on little on risers, risers, risers well. too. <laughs> Actually, at the moment, my front monitor is kind of like partially obscuring the two side ones a little bit, so I mm. need to put them a little more off off the edge. But you know what? That can be solved later. It's fine. Just me. I like mm. monitor mounts personally because it covers your desk a lot. So. And then you can like move them. And then, yeah, and, like, I can arms. I can pull this Just one forward move. and back and mm -hmm. all the different thingies. You can have your own little personal Glados screen going around. Just be like, 
What I need is three more monitors just so I can have the six set up. <laughs> oh my no, god. I can, I can, my brain can't yeah, even comprehend three at a time. Stay connected to the internet, so. That's yeah. probably Don't the problem. Kill it. It's a fair argument. That's fair. Though the internet wouldn't wow. impact the monitors necessarily. Well, like that's what you power, think. It's just your power source and other True. Roof. I don't know. There's a lot of, a lot of problems it could be. But I hey, apparently our house can handle power really well. Yeah. I was Mine just going to say, I took my computer to the shop. or to, Well, not to the shop. To a guy who works on computers out of his house. Because it was giving me issues. And it's still kind of giving me issues. But that's besides the point. Um, my computer is so powerful that it blew a fuse in his house, and he had to, like, figure out somewhere else to plug it into so we could stress <laughs> test it. Wow. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But that's th funny. That's a flex. So, <laughs> that's It wild. is a flex, but then I have issues, like, I can't turn on my webcam without it lagging out for 25 seconds. So tell me why I have a beast of a computer that still has the stupidest issues. It's <clears> dumb. <throat> Yeah. Um, was your computer built in Europe? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think it was. <laughs> if it, well, if it Maybe. was, it would probably have a converter. True. We got those fancy plugs over there. Also, Markleton, I'm sorry that I abandoned you and Alexander. I know. Uh, she left me in Markleton alone. I didn't to fight think a, we were going to get a level another four person. Mega Garchomp raid. I thought it was five. No, it was just four. You oh. babied out of a four star. Oops. But you guys still got it, so. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I felt bad. Sorry, uh, every time Marco sends me Power a raid request, I'm just in the no, uh, well, bathroom Garchomp and I miss Pokemon it completely. Go, I assume. Pokemon Both Go. Hands. Oh. We play a lot of Pokemon Go because our yeah. gym is a Pokestop. And my so. attention span doesn't oh. allow me to just not play it there, so. That <laughs> makes sense. I have noticed, like, I stop playing it as much, but then if I look over, you're always just... <laughs> like, if I'm on a <laughs> treadmill, I can't just sit there and walk, you know? I yeah, yeah, just um, That makes sure. sense. When I'm, like, uh, doing the machines and stuff, then it's fine, but... I stand there and I listen I've to had music. kids. And I... I watch... I people watch. I like... I like seeing what they're doing. <laughs> That's me I try not to people watch. It's... Like, yeah. It's always coffee, tempting. But... But it feels weird as a man, people watching others at a gym. Yeah. Just, there's you a lot of negative like connotations you, that can come with that, you know? You can't people watch women. Exactly. Yes. I can. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> and, you know, just off my, like, accidental like, people watching, there was a woman, like, like, next to us, right yeah. on the next to machine. She was squatting the same weight I could hit. And I was like, wow, great. She was... <laughs> She did so many squats. Like, I was doing different stuff. I think in the time that, like, we left, she had done, like, 500. Like, she just wow. kept going. She had... Like, it was crazy. <laughs> I love these I would... reaction videos where, like, they're, like, see, like, people who you don't think are going to turn out to, like, be able to lift that much do it. And then you just, like, see in the background of their video, like, people being, like, Oh. Yeah. Like, like, oh, silo, like in the background of like say hypothetically she was making a video or whatever it's just like you looking over and going oh. <gasps> I was, like so amazed basically yeah she set it up like you know real low weight getting herself prepped up and everything and i was like okay that's what a normal person does oh she added more she oh she added more again more. oh <laughs> that's crazy. my way hold on is she gonna add more and i didn't pay attention after that but i don't know if you saw her legs when she was on the stairmaster yeah. her quads were insane Oh god. So you do people watch. I try not to. I try not to. I passively people watch. There's a it's difference hard. between like sitting there and staring <laughs> for like a forever, but you can also like glance and get like a Like I guess know, I do. I just feel bad about it while I'm doing check, it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz it's like I'm not checking this person out. I'm just impressed by what they've accomplished the here. of like being like, oh, am I looking for am I watching for uh -huh. too long? But I like I want to watch. Like I I need I want to see. <laughs> it's okay. If anything, you look at my butt, and then you'll be safe. <laughs> Good to go. It's safe. a nice, it's a nice palate cleanser. It's, <laughs> it's, it's the safe zone, you know? <laughs> Just a... Well, you said that one time at the gym, you were trying, or not trying to get somebody to call you well, out. No, I'm just, I'm it. just sitting there waiting for the day. Some gym bro calls me out, like, "Hey, why are you looking at her?" And then me just start a random hey, argument for no eyes. reason. Yeah, some, 
some gym rat like yeah. trying to white knight and it's like that's my girlfriend no <laughs> just not even say that just <laughs> act down the whole scene <laughs> yeah, like, just be like you got probably me bro you yeah. got a problem no, i can't cake. look i can't and the I cake can't can be look. like come on boys everyone can look at my butt just meanwhile yeah. just spraying compliments in kayla's direction as i'm doing yeah. it oh my god <laughs> i'm just saying i've been doing some glute workout it the the thing is thanging and i'm Ooh. proud of it yeah, it's, it's weird. When, when you work out, your body does Changes. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Yes, it adapts. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. It's, it's cool. It's cool. We're gym nerds now. It's cool. <laughs> Always. We're gym bros. I'm a bro. No, you're not a bro. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for I'm the vocabulary bro. to change, like, in, like, two months. You guys will be sitting there. I'm just I mean, we could throw out some gym... Slang, yeah. probably what? Reps, <laughs> squats. <laughs> what? I love these. Reps. These are the slang. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, no. We got this. Lay, uh, lay them out for them. Mm -hmm. We got them. Lats. Table flash. Uh. Mm -hmm. Stairmaster. <laughs> just just stairmaster. <laughs> I'm just thinking of things we did. Just today. rolling the machines. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Treadmill. <laughs> now, just when we're having conversations about stuff, there is just a bunch of terms that, like, wouldn't mean anything to anyone else. Dumbbell flies, tricep. I don't. Well, I don't know. We, we, yeah, but like. Those, like who, yeah. who That's knows fair. what a hammer curl is? I don't know. Like that one's actually pretty. I mean, a lot of them are straightforward if you really think about it. I want to call out Helldog. They said, I can't compete with them. They got better buns. I, like, challenge you to a duel. <laughs> a bun battle. A bun battle. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first annual Zalafortney stream bun battle. Let me go put my leggings on. Oh, no. I've got you beat. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> oh, we're going to go in that fridge and get those buns out. Mm -hmm. We got them. They're in there. We got three different kinds of buns in the fridge right now, honestly. Do we? And one kind in the freezer. Buns? I mean, you got the, those hot dog buns that have been sitting in the back for forever. You got the I slider buns. buns. We still have slider buns? Yep. We got to do some sliders soon. Even though Dude, there's only four of them. So fridge like is, like, small, but it hides stuff from me. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, we have that stuff that I said I was going to eat. Two weeks ago, <laughs> didn't I can't I put anything finish. at the back of my fridge because it will just it will die back there. Yeah, it, I, I, I will it's not see issue. it. That's why we got some things that like work well in the back of the fridge, like the whole back fridge lined with pickles and peppers and stuff, and that stuff True. is just like good. That'll stay good forever. Mm -hmm. Well, but... not forever. Well, yes, yeah, yeah, years if it has to. Time. Time. We go through pickles like crazy. ten years. It's later. not like your milk. <laughs> You know, put milk in the back and then just we get yogurt eventually. It's great. No. <laughs> Our milk is too expensive to let it go bad. True. Did you get the, did you get the, the homo milk? We get fair Represent the gays. <laughs> it has protein. Ooh. Yep. Well, enough about us. Anyone else do anything exciting throughout the month we haven't spoken? Uh, I went for training. And then I got fired. Oh, oh, wait, what? Right. I forgot that you yeah. were going to start a new and job. I, I remember you telling me that. this. What yeah. happened? How? Uh, so the you, so in case y'all wondering, they find out was... you were going to give their secrets away? And they just were no. Like, no. So I, I went through two months of trading, um, doing all this all this crap. I still have my 140 for a page out, like, leaflet thing here still, because I haven't moved it. Um, and uh, I went on the driving test. I did six hours of driving, and then I did my test. And because they're so strict with how you're supposed to drive, I went over you in the from white York, line. So. I went over the white line in front of like a red light, like slightly, like maybe like this much. And they count that as running a red. And it's he an got out and checked. <laughs> yeah. Wow. They count wow. it as automatic red, and they immediately terminated me on the spot. Wow. After two yeah. months of training. Standards. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. 
And then the thing, what I went back to Mitch with after he told me that, I was just like, you would imagine that if they cared that much about driving, they'd give more f shits about your package instead of just throwing it at the door, taking a picture and calling it a day. It's like, oh yeah, I ordered like new glassware, but it's all shattered, but God forbid you go yeah. two centimeters over the white line. <laughs> hey, but when you put it that way, I can't think of a time I ever saw a male person recklessly driving. <laughs> Anyone? I, know. I feel it's like very, I don't it's drive early enough in the morning. <laughs> they, they're like mail gets I mean, mail, at like You should see the mail people around my everybody. place. They're just all going like. <laughs> um, what else happened? Oh, I'm not lady, single like, anymore. Walks around that was our complex. Was like, oh. like she parks at the end of the street, so I like never see her anyways. And I don't, <laughs> I don't leave my house. Fair. Same. Yeah. Anyways, oh. what you were saying? What was? What was oh, that? I said I'm not single anymore. So that was nice. Oh. Um, That's a shame. And that's that. <laughs> that's what I've done this past hey. month. Who's next? Congratulations. Uh -oh. Look at my calendar. Who else, who else got fired this month? I Not me. Oh. I'm making we more money. We definitely didn't get fired. I... No. Oh. Oh. We got the no. opposite. Well, not really opposite of fire. There's no we got opposite. more work. <laughs> we got more work. It never stops. No, that's good. I know. I know. We I brought more people in, it. and what is it? And we're like, we're going to get our hours reduced, right? <laughs> oh, <And> no. Then, <laughs> nope. That was the opposite of what happened. Why did I do this one? Well, at least there's some sort of stability in that. <laughs> yeah, that's the good thing. Um, I did. I finished my taxes. Oh. So already I, early bird. so i've already scheduled my you know you know two thousand dollar payment between state and federal because i, didn't I planned for properly. my taxes i haven't filed yet um i haven't then... done anything for that likewise i, I don't touch it's... taxes until march mm -hmm. <gasps> i got a new phone okay. yeah like i only just got the last of the documents yeah. I need, that I looks think. pretty i got an iphone 15. Who did? <gasps> nice. that's Haley williams look how beautiful she is that's how close I was at the, uh, I went to a show, one of her shows. Oh. It was one of the first shows before her This Is Why tour. And I was this close. This is not cropped. This is not zoomed in. This is how actually how close I was to, to Haley Williams. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, that, so I got an iPhone 15. Nice. Where? Fancy. My, uh, so, yeah, my biggest that's... update was that I got to direct another show Ooh. Um, oh, that we had performances hey. we did what did we do this time i remember we literally just did it it was uh finding nemo jr um so that was really fun got to where's my for... dad yeah one. yeah it <laughs> is actually it's more okay. fun because of course i didn't know about the show until this is my first like didn't you know this was on tiktok and i'm like i had no idea and then everyone that i knew from real Where's life clips of me like dad that does sound like it could go but it, was, it was it was very fun though I'm i enjoyed it it was a good show and then i got drafted into another one for the spring even though we're only supposed to do two per season they're like why are you gonna do a third one and i'm like Help you're just us. that good I probably shouldn't say yes because i'm already so busy but i'm like but i want to because they're doing shrek and i was like Ooh, actually, that's a fun oh, show not shrek the musical Ooh. especially with that thing for the summer. Kano. Wow. What thing? That's sorry. <laughs> uh, he, it's not Kano. I announced today on my Twitter, I also forgot that I'm going to be joining Maho Maddie's Princess SMP. Yeah, that's true. As another princess. We're doing Minecraft. I remember anyone who's watching from my stuff, remember how I said I was never going to do Minecraft on stream again? Well, you lied. Wow. I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I might do it on YouTube. I might stream it on YouTube. So it's, it's kind of different. It's a little different, yeah. but I'm still doing Minecraft. So, but yeah, that's going to be launching in March. So make oh. sure that you follow me on Twitter to check it out. <laughs> Very Charlie? nice. Yeah, I think it covers most of our things from what I yeah. remember. I'm well, glad to see uh, you've all been doing good in at least some aspect of your life. Aside from, you know, the getting fired for being a bad driver. But <laughs> How could you, Mitch? Such a bad driver. That uh, It's karma for almost killing me. I mean. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse up. me? Yeah. <laughs> That was two different things. We knew it was coming sometime. I was driving a it. truck from 1980. All right, there's a difference. <laughs> and you drove it apparently better than your own car. Yeah, apparently I did. <laughs> in it. Wow. I just, I'm you know, maybe all this story about Mitch's car trouble means something, you know? 
Look, I haven't crashed that car once. Haven't Yet. crashed once, sure. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. The only crashes I've had is slipping on ice and slamming into snowbanks. That's my only, that's my only crashes. Poor snow, so victimized. Yep. Mm -hmm. My only crashes. So and those ones don't how count. Many snow, how many snow yeah, children not have been murdered? Just snow. <laughs> just because snow children don't have no rights doesn't mean they don't deserve to live. <laughs> Mitch, I'm sensing that you he need to move somewhere. destroyed that snowman and his snow. children. <laughs> <laughs> I like I how snow, satisfying it would be like to it, run I don't over like a snowman in a car. It's a difference. That's fair. It used to be fun when we were kids. I just are really fun Shuffling and satisfying. Snow. True. I don't feel like hitting a snowman would be as satisfying. No, I feel like it'd be too dense. I don't think it would be good for the car. Yeah. I feel like the car would take way more damage. Yeah. Water's well, fun because it's it compact doesn't snow. With anything. Mm -hmm. I will it's say. My favorite thing. Yeah, before driving with you, I, you know, was a good boy, didn't hydroplane and hit those puddles. But having another person next to me encouraging it, man, it's it's a good time. It's so good. My mom always did it growing up, and I love it. So if there's a puddle on the side of the road, you speed up, put half of the Big car splash. through it, make a giant splash, hope no one's standing there, and it's a really good time. I can't. I if it's like heavy rainfall, I can't like I I get quite nervous with like visibility. But it's really funny because, like you know, not last Christmas but the Christmas before we had that like really big like eastern s snowstorm that like whited out everything. At least I I experienced Generally. it on Christmas. It was like complete whiteout, and I was like driving along. I was like. <laughs> Just gonna drive two hours to my grandfather's. Do 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 do. Complete whiteout. Like a huge section of the highway is like shut down because of car accidents. And I'm just like, hey. But if it's like if it's raining to the point where like the water droplets are making it so that it's like less visible, I'm like, no, I can't. I have to pull over. I can't. I can't drive. <laughs> like I don't know why that is. I, mean, I love anxiety. Anxiety is weird. So I'm Gucci. There was Ooh, a mini hurricane yeah. every day. So that's true. Yeah, it's awful though, because you just kind of got to trust people on the road, which is often hard. Yeah. Because you can't True. see them, but you know that they're they're there, and if you're within 10 feet of them, you'll see their lights. Sometimes. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> if they're working. <gasps> we have one other thing. We just celebrated yes. our four year anniversary. Oh, yeah, really? <gasps> Yay! I feel like Shut that's big. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of you, proud of you guys for continuing. I know, to I work still haven't messed it up. Hey. He tried a couple of Mitch. times. Mitch, wow, one of my accomplishments this month was getting into a relationship. We just celebrated our whole year. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we had Jakey come to visit and hang out yeah. with us. Oh. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was a good time. Be proud of you guys. <laughs> proud of you guys. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like I. Good I, job keeping I am an advocate that relationships are hard work. You never take they for granted it. any time you get together because something really could change. Is. And so you appreciate every second you have because well, it's things... not that hard, right? 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 Anyway, on to D&D. Have... <laughs> um... No, not, I'm not going to If it's too right. easy, <laughs> you might be doing something wrong. <laughs> Last year, we had, I don't want to say issues. Well, we had some issues, but we were very responsible and we found ways of communication that worked for us. And this year, we've both done really, really good, I think. So. So far. So far. <laughs> well, yeah, you take it one step at a time. Two out of 12. Mm -hmm. uh, true. Good streak. Good streak going. 100% win ratio in 2024. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> but yes, I guess we can get into actually playing some D&D. &D. <gasps> That's a good point. Woo! The reason we're all here mm -hmm. i will say coming back to uh dungeon mastering a game that you haven't touched in a, a month it's it's a little intimidating but i had the other stuff set up before so it's probably fine it's probably gonna work fine it's good it's good we'll judgy so fine. Hard. Mm -hmm. but anyway does our lore master have any idea what happened <laughs> last time hmm I don't know. Does the lore master have okay, an idea? Okay, yeah, he does. Daddy, yeah, yeah. Yeah. stop being cute. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> no, Mark. <laughs> well, then, in that case, previously on Titan's Edge. 
After facing a group of basilisks inside the Yuan-Ti tunnels, uh, reunited altogether, uh, the group opts to move forward in the ruins, uh, only for an enemy to uh, suddenly come flying in because she happened upon a strange flying boar creature on her way to get to Bonsai, and she did not want to deal with that on her own, and so she opted to return back to the group, which means everyone's back together again. So at that point, the group decides to try and get through the ruins as quickly as they possibly can to avoid any further mishaps. Um, they manage to hack their way through some foliage, avoiding some traps. Rex falls on his face a few times, you know, usual, usual stuff. Um, but we manage to, uh, with help from some goats that the enemy summons, manage to make our way through some vines and happen to stumble upon a group of flail snails, um, which were quite nice. An enemy and he tried to make friends with them, didn't quite work out very well. Um, but we managed to take them out, despite the fact that they were immune to magic and literally everyone else except for the physical fighters was able to do anything. Um, so it was great. Uh, and Chork nearly died, but Rex saved his life, which was stupendous. Um, and after that fight, we were all feeling all right. Uh, we managed to get to a cavern where the yuan Ti were waiting for us in ambush. Um, this is their tunnels, after all, and they were expecting some company when they heard of the ruckus that came about. Um, but uh, an enemy's charm seemed to win them over a little bit, and uh, we made an agreement with them that if we were to take out the Nalfeshni, which is the name of the war creature, um, then we would be able to uh, make our way through this area. Um, because they're scared of this creature, Bonsai's scared of this creature, and so if we can take it out, then they'll be more than happy to work with us. Um, we also found out, uh, sort of side note, that the Wanti happened to summon, a, or sorry, not summon, worship a moon serpent who happens to have some sort of connection to the same sort of uh, Celestia that Rex worships. Um, so there's sort of a connection there that might be worth pursuing at some point in time. Um, and then, yeah, we managed to go up a set of stairs with some guidance from the Wanti. We take a bit of a rest, and uh, after reaching the top of the stairs, we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do. And uh, an enemy made it really easy and started calling out uh, for the poor creature to show up. And yeah, piggy, piggy, shown piggy. up it has. And so uh, as we arrive here now in our current state of things, we are about to fight the Nalfeshni, quite literally, as soon as we start the session. Indeed. As you, you know, are now in the mountainous area, high above most of Agarica, you hear a shrieking boar's cry echo as the creature that was described by Anemone makes itself known. And I know how to use this program. <gasps> My pee pee. Yes, I got rid of your pee pee. <laughs> so you can see here there's a very rotund creature with wings oh god tusks, is is that scars, i was about to zoom in on it and then you then you zoomed I'm just it out doing so you could all see it properly <laughs> yeah that, that's what i was doing appreciate that. I was like, that's as big as the trees at this point <laughs> and it just shrieks out loud just <laughs> and uh i would require you all to roll initiative Ah, I'm busy drawing pee pee. Okay. Once you're done with your pee pee, <laughs> roll initiative. I'll do it yes. now. Oh, That's I have to cool. click. I didn't I do it. Click ah! your token or it doesn't count. I That's the rules. It's been too long. It has been a long time. I also did wow, have some, great on some random note about a wisdom roll at one ah! point in time in my notes as well, but I don't know what that's related to, so I'm just putting it out there in case it means something important. Pee pee. Gotcha. You would know more about it than I would, of if course. Anything. Yes. <laughs> totally. I know exactly what you mean, and did, I'll let you know if the, it comes into play. Did Sounds the people? Great. Did the people that we meet try and charm you? Was that what it was? I think so. I see we did some wisdom rolls at the I end think of it the was. last session, so yeah, we may have was, we may have worked something with going on. Something oh yes, I do. I do remember now. Finally. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. We yeah, there was something time. about them doing something to you mid conversation. Mm-hmm. Where's my, oops, I pressed the button. Why is it not rolling? Oh, there it is. There, there we go. go. Uh, this time. Here, you can update Initiatives my are made. Because it changed it, because I accidentally rolled it twice. 
And you all get to make an action before this thing. Oh, <gasps> you get a surprise yeah. round? Well, it just rolled more poorly than all of you, so yes. Oh. <laughs> but he's all the way over there. Yes. It's, it's really far. Out. And you can see he's not of massive size, but, you know, it's a very strange light creature. Its wingspan probably reaches almost 15 feet wide. Um, but it seems to be only a few feet above the ground at the state of where it is. There is many different uh, rocky elements between you and it, some different terrain levels. If you have any questions about anything on a map, feel free to ask. Um, Is this a cave? Yes, there are several caves here. So, so Wick, what would you like to do? Oh, God. Um, I'm probably going to spawn a cannon. Perfect. But I'm trying to see how far I can spawn it. Five feet in front of me. Come here, uh, come here, baby. There you go. Nope, don't use that. Do this. Um, I can't move this round, so I will move 30. Um, if I can... Five... Dead. Fifteen... Twenty-five... Thirty? Perfect. You see uh, probably a between five and ten foot hill in front of you. I can't go any further. Um, I can't bonus action hide, but I'll probably just like try to keep low so that I yeah, yeah you can so like break I, line of sight with him at at this position. yeah like get like half cover or something. You um. And I don't think that I have any bonus actions um, with this character. So I think I'm done. All right, Rex, you're up. Okay. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Move up. Uh 30. And then I think I have enough room to do this. Oh, just enough. Ooh. <laughs> just enough feet. Uh, told the dead. Okay. <laughs> and what save does he need to make? A wisdom save. Wisdom save. He has to be to 14. Ooh, nothing special on his stats. He fails. Cool. Hey. Taking, um, let's see. Is it still 2d12 for creatures that are not damaged yet for Toll the Dead? Uh, let me double check. I can just uh, click it so that way you can get it. Uh... Yeah, go for it. Let's see if it's missing anything. It takes a it is, uh, okay, d8 instead. So uh, if you want for the damage, just roll uh, 2d8. Okay, just so yeah, because really it's, 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 it's at full how yeah. Yes. The damage is dealt. Ow, that's awful. <laughs> yeah, but now your total deads will be full damage after that. Good job. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. All right. Chork is going to grab his weapon and uh, get moving in closer, probably doing something similar to Wick, just taking a little bit of cover behind the rock. Anemone, you are up. <gasps> oh boy. All right. First things first, I'm a summon a beast. Uh, I don't even remember what I can summon. I know I was like getting bigger, better thingies. Oh no. Okay. Uh, level three. Boy. Um, can I just like summon an Elfeshni? I want a pink one. Let's see what you can do. And you did turn uh, Rex into a baby one earlier. Oh, yeah. With your polymorph, so. I want a big Nelfeshni to fight the other Nelfeshni, but <laughs> so we know which one is mine, I want it pink. Oh, <gasps> Maybe he'll fall in love with it, because it'll be a female Nelfeshni. <laughs> okay. Um, is there a range that you can do that at? 90 feet. Okay, so pretty close. You want to just put it, like, in front of him-ish? 
Uh, sure. Okay. So it is over there. Um, I'm gonna do that, and then I can bonus action morph myself, right? Um, yes, you can. And then I'm gonna turn into a bear. Okay. Perfect. Um, I can do like a polar bear. Or what was what was the? Yeah, polar bear. I think was the uh, okay. what you're at. Polar bear. I am polar bear. Rar. Okay. Um, and I think that's my turn. Very good. Oh wait, I'm gonna name the Nalfashni uh Francesca. There, I have this bear you can play with now. All right. Nice. Bear? Oh, <gasps> is this me? Oh, I drew on it. <laughs> yeah, your drawing tools are at the ready. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. So for for right now, that bear is an ebony. Delightful. I sell him. All right, Ignatius. As hmm. your turn begins, you just hear that shriek echo through your head, and you blink, and everything around you just seems terrifying. You feel your legs unable to move. You can't feel a single tremor through the ground, yet at the same time it feels like an earthquake is surrounding you. And you just have a brief vision of Anemone getting mauled by a bear, Wick being blasted by her own cannon, Rex and Chorik once again fighting each other to the death. <laughs> Guys, stop. This, this, don't do this right now. You all hear him shout that, but he doesn't seem to be moving. Hmm. Just shouting, feet planted firmly in place. <coughs> and let's see what our buddy over here is going to do to y'all. Well, he might... Is he not, is Iggy not going to turn? Like, he's he just, like, stunned? Just some frightened of some sort. Mm -hmm. You, if you have any actions, you can, but you uh, cannot move at the moment. Oh. You are considered frightened. Hmm. Makes sense. So, do you have anything you'd like to? I mean, do the only thing I probably would have done, I imagine, with reference to the fight in general, is I probably would have just um, you know, use shield of faith on myself. Yeah. As a bonus action, so that'd be perfectly reasonable. Thing. Yeah. All so right. I'll, I'll just say that I did that, and I'll have it, you know, kind of around me, even in the midst of that talking. But that'd okay. be the thing I do. I think at this moment, Nalfeshni is going to uh, wow, move towards the pink Nalfeshni. That music hit on cue. That was wild. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Sometimes I make it work. The moment you see Nalfeshni, just a <laughs> <laughs> I can't be perfect all the time, but sometimes wild. I am, all right? That was awesome. <laughs> um, he is just going to start with some attacks. <laughs> and unfortunately, Kayla's not here to see this, but... Uh, oh, my. There's we no can't more. fight this thing. <laughs> it's for 29. What is that? No one tell Plus. Kayla the uh, pink Nalfeshni may have been eviscerated. So am I, yeah. so am I allowed to say something right now outside of d &D? got a plus 10 to hit. Just real quick, I just learned what this is literally yesterday. Oh! Fun. I watched the D&D like, animatic, and they were fighting this. So I know I've never used is. one before, but it looks scary. I know scary. what this is. And I've never thought one. Yeah, it's I shocking. know what this is. So, I, yeah. <laughs> so oh, no. Just, I didn't right. want to meta, though. I didn't want to meta game on top of it because I actually know mm -hmm. what this is and like well, how it works. <laughs> but I, I actually know what this is. Let's see. It's just gonna flutter so, its wings over here slightly. So, um, uh, Alexander, remember how we we? Do you remember how I took an ASI for my intelligence? Can I actually just put it into Dex so that I can ha get a higher armor class, please? I'm, actually, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you already leveled up. So, I mean, it's um, yeah. <laughs> No. You leveled up, and now you can fight tougher things. So it's all good. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. It is going to flap its wings aggressively towards all of you. And I'm going to need a save. Uh-oh. From all of us? 
Yes, let me tell you what. Save in a second. It seems to be casting a spell of some kind. And I need a dexterity saving throw from... <sighs> Just Rex, Wick, and Chorik. Polar Bear is not included here. That's fair. And my, my uh, save All booster right. will not help you guys. Because I'm too far away. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Oh, not bad. Not bad. So the two who Chork, were you know, yeah. crouched behind a rock managed to avoid you know, getting hit by what seems to be this cloud of sparkling spores. But Rex, they cling to you. And stick to you, mm. and you are a sparkly little dragonborn prince. I'm more sparkly. Oh, yep. is that fairy fire? Wait, you hold on. Like any what damage? happened to the fire. female no fish? I do. I recognize. So you might want to scroll up a little bit, and you'll see what happened. <laughs> I have cast the spell before. So. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, oh, it, it, it wasn't in the mood. <clears throat> wasn't Your in pink the mood. lady got yeah, <laughs> got bodied. It got um, ripped. And that is going a to end its turn. Has been discovered. So, with that, uh, back to the top of the round. Wick, you see Sparkly Rex. You see Panicking Ignatius. An enemy turned into a bear. Nothing new. But what are you going to do? I have a question. You can completely say no. That's fine, because okay. I made the choice already. No. But no. could I repcon pulling out my cannon until I got into the spot that I was in? Instead of like, just so like running first Roll me and a then running it. Okay. Slash roll. Mm -hmm. 1d20. Yeah, sure, you can do it. Your character <gasps> probably oh, thought thanks. about that. I just wanted to. I was put yeah, it there. Yeah, put your can where you want it. Okay, that's no problem. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I. So on my turn. I'll probably move it. I don't think I can get it close enough to fire, so... Because it has to climb up this mm -hmm. 10 feet, right? How did you design your cannon to climb this rock face? Ooh. Well, seeing the environment and being close to it now, I think I would, like, add... I would do, like, the normal, like, tripod that I usually do with the standing cannon. Um, and then I would add, like... Maybe like little hooked feet on the bottom or like, like, yeah, like hooked feet. And then maybe on the outside, like have them like have another hook rotating. So it's kind of like uh -huh. the outside one it's is like going like climbing that. rotating spikes that go up it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like one Fun. is like, like clamps down and then the other one like rotates fully. And then it's a like clamp, rotate, clamp, rotate, clamp. Makes sense. You've summoned it out of your creation out of magic, so you can have it exactly how you want for the moment. And there it is. Yeah, it can climb it up there. Them. It does use, um, I think, all of its movement to go up that because it's still rough terrain, but it's there. Cool. At least it's up there, though, now. Yep. Um, And then... Is there... any... loose rock around? Lots of it. I think I want to, I don't know how I want to do this, but I know what I want to do. Excuse me. Um, oh, actually, oh no, isn't being worn or carried. I want to cast catapult. Okay. So I think I might use the slingshot as like a flavor thing, like not do extra damage, but like, that's what I would use to like catapult it, I guess. I don't know, like this loose rock, but like it's heavier. Um, I'd like use like, I don't know. I'm trying to flavor it, but I'm, I'm mm -hmm. drawing a blank. But I yeah, guess so I could like pull out the take... slingshot. You don't put any yeah. rocks in it for a moment, but you'd pull it back and launch it. And as it does, a little puff of air goes <gasps> and a much larger rock from right behind you goes launching as if it was fired by the slingshot. Ooh, heck so yeah. Just like over my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to cast a first level. Sure. Test the waters. Bam. Bam. Okay. Dexterity save. Oh, no. He's not super 16. dexterous. Ooh. But. Good for us. 
Nice. He fails. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, the rock just hits him, crumbles on one of his tusks. Cool. But he and then, only seems to get angrier. And then, with would I have enough movement to get to here with the rough terrain? I have 30 feet. Not for, uh, you, yes, you can. Okay. Eh. I want to, like, still kind of hide behind the bushes. Yeah, there's a tree there. You can pretty much just prop yourself behind it ready for the next action. Rex! Hi. You're uh, good I'm going to move a little bit closer. Uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do I got? Uh... I'm going to use Guiding Bolt. Okay. On this bad boy. I've had it. Level one. Okay. You go to fire a Guiding Bolt. And as you do, it seems like some of those sparkles that you're firing just kind of cling to the Guiding Bolt. And the Guiding Bolt, as it launches towards him, just seems like it almost has a weight to it that it doesn't usually. And it just hits the ground ten feet in front of him and just skids into nothing. Ah, so this thing is messing with my magic, which is my whole thing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Flaming sword time from Rex. Uh, Anything else? Any bonus actions? Uh, let me see. I got anything else? Nah. I think we're good for now. All right, Chork is going to climb this rock, and seeing that Ignatius isn't yet on the front line, someone has to be. He's gonna use a dash action and get right up to the now Oh gosh! My boy, stay safe. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Anemone, you're up. Nothing's <sighs> going to go wrong. I am. Bear. You're a bear. Yep. I'm bear. You're bear. I'm bear. All right, I have house. 60 movement. Um, does the rough terrain like make it hard to make bear go over there? Do bears there? have climbing speed? That would be uh, reasonable. I am a big bear. I'm going to say you can maneuver um, as you normally would. Because I feel like a polar bear could navigate this terrain. I mean, polar bears, they, they go crazy, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And bears are known for climbing, so you're Can good. I just go there, then? Bears bounds and leaps. Um, what is the speed of your polar bear? It is, goes at 40 feet per six seconds. Uh, you can go... <laughs> what? No, yeah, actually, yeah, you can go right there. Yeah. Yay. You make it. Um, I'm a... I'm big can, bounding I, bear. A big bounding bear. I'm an attack. Okay, uh, make your attack roll. A bite. That hits. Yeah, it does. You taste him bacon claw tonight. To, oh, um, the, the claw <laughs> didn't hit, but I bite. Okay, for 13 damage. Very good. You're welcome. Alright. He is going to uh -oh. use a legendary action here. What do you mean, a legendary yeah. action? A special <laughs> move, and, uh, you know... Alexander, he... I know where you sleep. I didn't prepare my spells accordingly, because I was like, oh, we might get another sleep before finding and fighting this thing. We'll probably get to, or we'll probably get to the tree first. I have all util spells prepped. I have no <laughs> He's going to claw at the bear. He can make utility I... work. There's a way. <clears throat> Does I'm a sure 14 hit the <clears throat> polar bear AC? I don't think it. Oh no, it does. It does. Mind. Twelve. It does. Yeah. It does. I'm you take so thirteen like slashing damage. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, that's I still don't... better than what it could have been, considering what it did to your little. Um, yeah, it didn't use a bite attack. Whatever, man. <laughs> uh, very good, Ignatius. Can you make a wisdom saving throw for me? I most certainly can. I'll even I'll be nice this. and tell you the number you're trying to beat. A fifteen. That's right. I've got this plus my two. Mm-hmm. Oh man, oh, Ignatius. Boy. That's tragic. Mm. Yeah, you see now Anemone's 
been devoured by this bear as it runs off to eat Chorik. You Things just, are going horrible all around Ignatius you. Ignatius is just s- struck, and you just you see like mm. a little tear. Well, I mean, if, if you were looking, which you probably aren't, um, <laughs> he's got tears going down his eyes as he's just like, no. Mm-hmm. And then it, what? What's going on? And he's and just, Rex and Wick, if you're paying attention, you can see Ignatius just clearly struggling in the background. I see him from where I'm at. You can. Oh yeah, because it's roughly. downhill. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, um, Ignatius, unfortunately, you are still frightened. Is there any other action you'd like to do? Um, you can uh, move further into the battle. You, you can think... run away if you choose. Yeah, I'm trying to think uh, what he would necessarily do. He wouldn't, I think, because he wouldn't run away. He would be too, <laughs> he'd rather stand there and be sad than do anything else. I don't think there's anything else that he can feasibly do at this point, especially if he's not sensing the rock or anything. So I feel like, yeah, I guess he'll just, he'll just sit around and wait. Okay. So better to do right now. Or, or not, he wouldn't have the mental cognizance to be like, I need to try and get myself out of this state. Cause he doesn't, he's not thinking that straight right mm-hmm. now. All right. I will say technically you're supposed to get the save at the end of the turn. It just doesn't matter too much in that round. So you can do it again. Another wisdom save. Okay. See if I'll you come to your senses. Let's try. Okay, so it's, well, that would be a 15 with my plus two. 15. With my so you aura. blink, shake your head, and you see everything as it is for a moment. And now you see in the distance a bear fighting this now Feshni creature, knowing that it's probably an enemy. Everything's probably fine. Right. For now. But that is the end of your turn. Sounds good. All right, it's his turn now. Let's see, what sounds fun to do? Well, let's be mean to our players. That sounds fun. <laughs> um, He is going to vanish from in front of the polar bear. Oh, son of a... I just saw him and now he's gone. <laughs> don't, don't worry, he's closer to you now. Oh, perfect. That's good. I'm the tanky one. He reappears. Hey, hey well, now, wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> as a little dust cloud. <laughs> wait emits, a minute. <laughs> and... It seems that he is almost teleported right behind you. Bro, what? I think he's chosen Rex as his new mate. He didn't like the pig, so he's- Yeah, he just, already uh... spored me up. <sighs> I'm so mad I wasn't even here to watch it get wrecked. <laughs> it was very sad. It basically died the second you left. <laughs> yeah. Not my fault, I had a pee pee. As it does this, you see a lot more small dust clouds begin popping up around the battlefield. Um, but it does not attack just yet. It will, however, have a fun little roll for no particular reason. Oh, no particular reason? No particular reason. Okay, Kronk. And uh, that's it. Wick, you're up. Uh, I... Now that's moved, it's closer to me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I'm going to do a force cannon, which is 120 feet. Makes so sense. I guess I could have done that. Could have attacked last turn. But. It was it was having a hard time climbing up there, you know. It's yeah. Hard. Um. So I will activate the force ballista. Okay. <laughs> Bonus action fires away. Yeah, it fires mm-hmm. and it just seems to shoot like straight past him, just missing. Okay. And then, God, why does Rex have to be right there? Fireball, do it. What do you mean? He teleported to me. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, like all my vicinity. If and I'll go back was, to regular flashbacks. No, because if it was this way, it would have been easier than this way. Because <laughs> um, I climbed up here, so like I don't have to so climb back It's my down. fault he teleported to Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is. That's correct. Is. You were leaving yourself out there, Um. Bro. These dumb clerics running around thinking they own the place. Pretty much. I'm... As clouds... <laughs> a little visual Don't representation leave. for you guys. <laughs> of course. I'm going to take my hammer. I'm going to take my hammer. I'm going to take a co- gold coin. And I'm going to throw it up in the air. And I'm going to strike it. And I want to it to hit the Nelfeshni. And when it hits, to cast Shatter. It's Ooh. 10 feet in radius, so it should just be on him. I think. 
Can you roll an intelligence like uh, saving throw for me real quick? Saving throw? Yeah. Yes. You as Wick realize that radius means the center of it, meaning the entire oh. area would be 20 feet diameter. So. <laughs> meaning I get hurt. <laughs> yeah, so it would... Um, Ten foot radius sphere centered on a point must make a constitution saving throw. So I can, like, choose the point. Yes. So, so if you don't launch it at the Nefeshni, you could theoretically shoot it at, like, this tree over here. And Yeah, that is the ten foot radius. Man, the radius tools are so cool now. Can I? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'd have to shoot right. it at the tree. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think, but like, I want it to cast. I want to cast shatter because I want it to do like a giant ringing noise. Yes. So it'd be like ear piercing. Okay. So I'm gonna cast that at second level. I'm All gonna right. cry. That is garbage damage. So he takes half of that. But yeah, the, the whole tree doing splinters damage. and shoots bits of bark and leaves everywhere in every direction. As you see this guy, it just kind of like washes over him. A couple splinters stick in, but he seemed to have a few already before the battle started. A non-magical object that isn't being worn or carried also takes damage. So like the tree, I guess, takes yeah, damage. That tree took a lot of damage. Um, but I, is that all you got? I think it would be. Rex, you're up next. He's not happy to be mm. made out of stone it, crystal He doesn't metal. seem to crumble like <laughs> brittle clay in this, no. in this moment in time, unfortunately. Okay. Um, <laughs> no would I be able to try and figure out what's attached to me? Um, sure. I'll say you can... I'll say I'll give you a bonus action to do a uh, arcana or intelligence check of some kind. Okay. Arcana would probably be the best. When my intelligence thing. is terrible. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure Does this Rex out. Does Rex know the extent of every magic spell? I will say that this, um, you've seen it before. It is probably a fairy fire spell, as mm. Maddie was saying. So, yeah, it's going to be bad if he attacks you. No. Oh. Crap. <laughs> um... In fact, he's going to use a legendary action right now as you make that realization. Claw attack with advantage. So you Ow. take 17 slashing damage. Ow. Hey, it... I mean, at least the advantage was kind of minimal. Yeah, yeah. Either, didn't matter. Anyway. Either way. Um. God, I don't know what to do. Uh, da, 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 da. What are you doing? Ah, uh, well, if my magic's not really working well, uh, Don't I'm gonna try. Have... And... What was that? Have... Oh, you have blink. I do, but my magic not worky. So I don't know if that would work. Not at all, or just not on him. Torque's ah. gonna run in closer, and hopefully he won't. All right, I'll teleport blink. away again. I'll okay. Blink away. Uh, engine the current plane and appear in the eternal. Guess you gotta roll a d20, see what happens. Yay. <laughs> I was gonna say, because fairy fire, I don't think, gives you. Doesn't stop. Like, it gives you disadvantage on him, I think. Rex vanishes. I'm gone. Rex is gone. Yay. Tork <laughs> runs up very confused at this moment because he was trying to help Rex, but. <laughs> and then I dipped. <laughs> Polar bear, it's yep. your turn. <gasps> oh boy. Bear. Um, Anemone is also probably really confused. Like, where the <laughs> heck did this man's go? Yeah, he's so... poofing away. Rex is poofing away. Yeah, I guess she'll Ooh. turn around, Ooh. see he went over there, and be like, that's weird. Okay, I polar bear run back over there. Honestly, okay. that should be easier because I'm going downhill. Yeah, no, you can absolutely I'm... do it if you got that far in the first place. Yeah, exactly. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm wanting some bacon, man. I, I liked what I tasted, so I'm gonna bite. Okay. Uh -oh. You go to chomp at it, and it just like beats its wings and avoids you. 
What the? As what do you general. mean? It's it's a slippery little guy. What about it's, now? It's armor Aww. classes. You see, you rolled Hi. the same number. Well, yeah, but maybe this time you'll so make you an So you also don't hit him this and time. And you'll see how cool I am and how sharp my claws are and how I'm itching my bum with them. And maybe you'll allow it. I don't know. No, but you do take 16 slashing damage as it claws what back at you. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm just going to say I know where you sleep. So. I mean, the good news is he's using all his legendary actions to hit you, so... Yeah, it's burning him up, so... <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. It only gets yeah, three like, a turn. A three a, a turn. A round. I only have 13 health left, so. Jeez. They don't build polar bears and... like they used to. <laughs> All right. Of the good stuff. The tight Ignatius. I can move now. I yeah, see your mind is happening. clear. You see Rex disappearing, this thing poofing in front of you, a polar bear running down the hill, Chork running down the hill. A little more he comfortable than it was before. He hears himself up and he's like, I'm not going to let my my girl get eaten by a pig monster. And he just you goes over tell him, Iggy. He's going to walk over here and he's going to get right next to him in the face. And he's going to, you know, attempt to hit him with his lovely okay. pick. Go for it. So, cool. We're going to do it. He's going to he's gonna do mm. a little this and a little bit of that. Ooh. And he's going to nice. do a little bit of the thingy majigger, which is known as the the smite of the the damage. Hell yeah! Because he was already going to do it anyway. So we're just going to add in Pile. that. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Because he hit both, I'm just going to have him do both. Why not? Very nice. So totaling out, it 45. would seem 43 damage. Let's go. Where Rex's magic seemed incredibly ineffective and weak in comparison, Ignatius comes in. <laughs> With fully powerful attacks. That was so unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ran away from the This is what he gets. <laughs> Sorry, I can't imbue it in my weapons really that much. My bad. <laughs> Anything else, Ignatius? Uh, no, he, he feels pretty content with what he managed to achieve this turn, so we're good. All right, he's going to use that last legendary action of the turn to clutch you. That's very, very Thank fair. God. He's got to be to think. Of, oh, actually, hold on. I think Ooh, my shield of faith is, should might count. Oh, it might hold. We'll see. Because I think shield of faith does plus two, right? Plus two. So what's your current So AC? it matches. It'd be 21. Okay, so he just barely hits you with it for that's... 19 damage. Okay, that's fine. And he's just going to... He's going to land down on the ground for a moment after fluttering so elegantly. And once again, he is just going to turn towards each of you and just start squealing. And I'm going to need wisdom saves from everyone but Ignatius. Okay, that's mean? cool. I'm I in will the, say... I'm in the eternal plane. Do I hear yeah. that? Um, I'm going to say no. Okay. And Chorik and Enemy get my plus two now because they're within 15 yes. feet. Do I do um, your mental stat. wisdom save? Yep, anemones. Okay. Let me reopen her. All right, Chork, what you got? Oh, I have it open. You said wisdom oh, saving throw? Boy. Yes. Right. And you are within the radius of Ignatius, so you succeed thanks to that. Thanks. Ignatius is just so inspiring. He really is. He, he did come in to try and save you, so you know. Yeah. Consider me inspoed. All right, is that everyone? Yes, it is. Everyone except for Chork has saved. And yeah, that is the extent of his turn. It seemed to be pretty ineffective against you guys. Wick, what are you gonna do about it? Um. I'm going to take my slingshot and I am going to pull, draw it back. And as I draw it back, I want to start conjuring a fire. I want to start create, uh, conjuring Scorching Ray. Use my last third level. Yeah. <laughs> um, and hopefully, if it hits, I get to do an extra D8 of damage. Okay. You fire, it's just with every scorching ray, it fires near him and just his wings beat, more sparkles come off of him, and just seem to knock every one of the scorching rays away. 
Um, actually, Scorching Ray, you fire three separate shots, I think. So. <gasps> you got more. No, that's Magic three. Missile. No, Scorching Ray is more. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so technically the other one. Yeah. Okay, so two and of then... those hit. Yes. Okay, and then hold on. I want to. Okay, I'm going to roll 2d8 then. Uh huh, uh huh. Slingshot uh, bonus. Roll. Slingshot bonus, 2d8. And then I want my cannon to go off at the same time. Okay, flavor, we like it. So boom, boom, um, boom. Shots firing from every direction. I want, <laughs> I want to like move behind my cannon actually, and I want to uh -huh. time my shots so that I pull the Ooh. slingshot back and they, like the three fire at each other and they like create like this big, like force fireball essentially that mm -hmm. just right into him, the yeah, side of so him. This thing is just bombarded by the arcane railgun that is you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah. And it takes some damage. However, it seems that whatever force it is causing it to, uh, <gasps> you know, deflect some of your attacks does mitigate some of the damage it takes, but not all of it. Five, seven. What is that? Five, seven, nine. Anyone. Rex, you're up. Poof! I, you exist again. Move. Yeah, and I can move anywhere within 10 feet. Yeah, so you can be and a little can away I get from out. if you'd like. Yeah, I'm gonna go right here. Okay. Uh, um, let's see. My magic's not really going too hot uh, on him, so I might as well boost everyone else. <laughs> um, boost. Boost. I, just, I just gotta make sure everyone's in range. So. You get a fourth ray at third level. I unfortunately don't get third level spells for ah, another. Perfect. Okay, we all three are levels. <laughs> for the first time ever since I know what I'm doing years. occasionally, I'm gonna cast Bless. Ooh, our cleric too. buffing his allies? Incredible. I know. What? This is unforeseen. And this is gonna be for Chorik, Anemone, and Ignatius. I meant second level. That's my bad mark. Thank you. I, I have three second it. levels, so I think that's where I got confused. All right. You all have the opportunity to add a D4 to your rolls. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Yay. D4 of damage? Is that? Yeah. Just for um, it's a D4 to hit. Yeah, Chorik, <gasps> Ignatius, hit? and. Hell yeah. And, uh, Hitting or saving as well. Anemone. Yep. If you want. Tintero, Period. Course. Okay. Anything else, Rex? <laughs> um. And I'm gonna use a healing word on Ignatius. Very good. Let me bite. You want to bite? I want to bite. Or you can Tanks, bite. Thanks. I'll take it. <laughs> Something. Bite. I, I feel. I feel. I feel like a little bit like I just got like a little sip of water. That's how Ignatius feels. Just like. All right. You managed to bite, so, and you bite. taste pig thing but it's really kind of awful tasting actually pig thing can i roll the thingy for my claw it's um, a deep one yep. every you can, yeah you, you can get it every time so i'll tell you right now that claw hits too yeah it does yep so you chomp on him you slash at him and he... big damage he dies because i'm so cool <laughs> almost <laughs> dies um instead oh. anemone can you roll a 1d4 for me I just did see. I think, I think it's the D4 for something Would else. Would you like to roll another one? Um, you want to roll no. low here if it makes you feel any better. Oh, okay. 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 That's lower than it could have been. Uh, good to know. Why? What did it do? Anyway, uh, Chorik does not manage to break ah! his fear, but he is going to just kind of aggressively lash out at this thing as best as he can. That's significant disadvantage. And he misses. And he misses. Oof. Still frightened. Uh. Buddy. But now he gets to make another save, right? Um, the save I made was for the. Oh, thing. oh, oh. Yeah. Got you. Anyway, Ignatius, you're up. And. Cool. At this moment. Uh, some more winged creatures begin to fly what? in. What? I don't think we need any more, actually, DM. Thank you. You see the um, Nalfeshni's eyes go black. Oh. As right. 
some what seems to be black, creepy birds come in from behind you, Ignatius. Okay. Anyway, what would you like to do? Um, I mean, at this point, how far away are the birds from me? Uh, probably about 20 feet away. Okay, so th so, th so they are materialized, but not like an urgent threat. Um, yeah, they're not yet attacking you. Yeah, then I, I will probably still go after the Nalfeshni, because he's a bigger target, which is easier for me to hit. Not really, but, you know, mentally speaking. It's this process, so we're going to try and hit twice more. Okay. One of those is indeed a hit. Cool beans. That'll be where he's at. He's going to try and he's going to hold on to his spell a little bit longer, so no divine smite today. Or at least for this room. Very good, yeah. You puncture yet another hole into his massive belly. All right. He seems now, after the, um, you know, several beatings from all across, but especially Ignatius, just being able to lay into him after overcoming fear, seems to be uh, taking a significant amount of damage. Um, but so it is good. now his turn, and he is going to use it to bite at Ignatius. <gasps> Do it. Yeah, you know. Oh. Okay. Oh, so, gosh. Ignatius, Jesus. you take 27 piercing damage. Cool. That's unpleasant. And he's going to use a claw attack on an enemy. No, he doesn't need to. Silvery barbs. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so it's not a crit thanks to Silvery Barbs. You still have to reroll. Okay. Uh, and take the lowest. You're right. So 27. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Still, still okay. is less damage. I'm still is less crit. damage. Still is less it. damage. It's still, uh, the mm. Porter Bear is gone. <laughs> oh, now. yeah. I'll be nice and say you took the 14 damage because that was the original damage roll. Okay. Um, so any additional damage past the polar bear's health carries over to Anemone. Where did Anemone go? I, I dragged her up, up in the corner. Top here. here you go. <laughs> she, she, right. um, she only takes I, one I, damage. Okay. Herself, and if I she gets clawed again, clock. how much damage does she take? Doesn't matter. Wait, she, he misses. I... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That is Nalfeshni's turn. What do you got next, Wick? Um, give me one second. I just want to write down that I use silvery barbs. Um, God, I don't know. Um, I. How big? How big? How big is it? A square. Yeah, I'm gonna annoyingly climb back down uh, into a position where I can. A lot of rock climbing not, going on here. Not hit. <laughs> can I go? Can I go here, or is it too close to the rock? Um. Yeah, you can go there. One, two, you say you're three, like pressed up four. against it there. Cuddling the rock. This. Uh, well, actually, it's going to hit Chorik, but he's charmed. That'll be a benefit. Before I cast the spell, however, I'm going to move my cannon so it doesn't take any damage. Five, ten. Um, and then I am just going to scream out and use a rock chisel. And I'm going to go, uh, hey, stupid Boar face! <laughs> just Terrifying. Like, wow. I know. I'm going to hit the rock. Crit fail. <laughs> I'm going to hit the rock with the rock chisel. Wow. And I'm going to cast the thunder wave as I do it. And hopefully that it'll like reverberate through the rock and outwards. And unfortunately, it's going to hit Torque. But I want to okay. hit. Okay. Is that a con save? It is. Cool. He gets plus two for me. I'm right. gonna give Chork advantage with silvery barbs. Okay. Who's next? No, no. Actually, I'm not gonna meta. I'm gonna give it to Rex because he's been he he might okay. hit it. He's been good. 
I was going to reroll the constitution good. check if you did <laughs> anyway, but very no. good. And our big pig boy, Nalfeshni, will roll very successfully, it seems. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so as you go, and, you know, more rocks fly around, many hitting Chork in the face, uh, many launching towards Nalfeshni, but just seems they have very little effect on him. So he takes half damage, but it does it look like it doesn't do any damage? It looks like, you know, if one were to measure it, you, know, you have a glass half full and then you poured half that glass out as yeah. well. <laughs> it's uh, not very effective in Pokemon terms. No. Well, Rex, anything exciting from you? Everybody's ears are going to uh, be ringing. I just can shoot my cannon! Shoot your cannon. <laughs> Hold on. Nice. Okay. Yo. Bat indeed. This does more damage than that. Heck yeah. I'm just going to hit the rock and it, <laughs> see that it not register and go, ta distraction, and then shoot my cannon. <laughs> Perfect. All according to plan. Man. This <laughs> is just right through his face. Mm-hmm. It's like the like, weird like anime thing where you just see like the air compressed air like go against his face and just slow <laughs> 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 mo. Uh, I don't have many options. So I'm gonna have to do Toll the Dead again. Okay. Because I want to keep my concentration up with the blast for right now. Go for it. You have advantage on your next say roll. All right, he will. Just a minute. He Yay. takes no damage. No! It's almost as if he had advantage against that or something. Aim. Anything else, Rex? No, that's all I got. Rex is I... having a bad week in D&D. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just <laughs> bad be... week. Hey, hey, I had a really bad week. Clutch. I'm just saying. I'll that's just, true. I'll just be here. True, the bus did help. All right. I had a really bad week last week, and I'm having a good week this week, so. Take it. Chork is going to try to flail along. with this crowbar, and unfortunately, Dang. due to the disadvantage, Dang. misses. Yeah. Man, poor Chork. He would have been contributing so much to this fight if he wasn't getting yeah, there's he, wait, some damage there. Even with his he bless, took, he misses. But he took da he, True, with he bless, bless, and he right. took damage. Did he make another wisdom save? Nothing happened when he took the damage. Okay. Seems he is not under any sort of charm effect necessarily. He's just scared. Um, All right, let's see um, if the I'm bless. Just a bad teammate. <laughs> oh, so Got to roll a four on this bless, and does not. Ah. Uh, on both. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. The first yeah. one didn't have a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, anemone. And he's taking a plus yeah. two, right? Still, with that included as well for his roll for save. For the save. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He just rolled his wisdom save very poorly. And yeah, here's another yeah. wisdom save from Chork at the end of his turn. <gasps> and this time he fails again. All right. <laughs> wait. Hold on. What? Wait. <laughs> Go on. It's plus two. It's plus two with sure Ignatius, is. right? So it's 10. Sure I'm going to use Flash of Genius and go, Rex? Chork, it's not real. And add. I think, is it four or five? What's your intelligence modifier? Five, because I upped it when I when I leveled up. You see as Chorik shakes the, uh, the fear. <gasps> Flash of genius, yeah! well done. Utility works sometimes. Oh my gosh. We, we, we're just buffing Chorik as much as we can. Just be I like, know. Mm, he's getting, he's getting not, blessed. We're shaking getting... him. Okay. <laughs> That's the end of Chork's turn. Step out of it! You idiot! Step out of it! Anemone, you may not be bare, but you are an enemy. Yes. That is true, and an enemy is pretty awesome. But she's probably going to be bare again shortly. But before I do bear, I want to summon another beast. Yeah. And hope this one doesn't get riggedy wrecked. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have her summon another bear. Okay. Um, All the bears. And then she's going to also turn into a bear. All right. The, now Fishney is going to take a slash at you. At is me or my bear? 
At, at you, you as you're turning into a bear, so the bear will be taking a hit. Oh. Um, or an enemy bear will be taking a hit. If it does hit. Um, with a 22. So yeah, 19 that, points of damage. That, uh, that hits. And can you make a constitution uh, saving throw? Why? Why would I do you that? you got to concentrate on your little brother bear there. Well, and little brother bear turns into little brother air. Maybe Oof. you should stop <laughs> being mean to me. That's I'm what being I'm very saying. mean to you today, and I'm The sorry. dice are being mean to you. They're not, they're not doing what we want them to. All right. Um, That's my turn, I guess. Yep. Oof, mm -hmm. All right, Ignatius, you're up. Um, okay, so then, okay, so Chork's good then. I don't have to do what I was thinking. Yeah, to you do. see Chork seems to be shaking um, whatever was afflicting you earlier. Cool. Uh, I, well, those birds are behind me, so I'm like, <gasps> I might get clawed at. That sounds great. Okay, well, that definitely informs my decision. Ah. Uh, yep. I am going to, uh, supercharge myself with a bit of some lay on hands power because I need some healing so I'm going okay. to heal myself with 20 points from my lay on hands so I'm up now a little further instead of being near death I will be less than near death um, and technically that's an action so I will not do anything else okay and can you make a um, con saving throw yourself for the I suppose I could yes Man, Ignatius, I am disappointed in you. Do, for Constitution saving throws, do you get your um paladin it, bonus? It, it, to it'd that? be for any, it'd be for any uh thing. So it'd be yeah. I mean, so I get plus two to. Uh, all so yeah, I've got. you managed to hold concentration. Okay, I That's... forget. I think you're set up so you can like hardly oh, ever right. break concentration. Yeah, we, Don't you yeah, have yeah, resilience? We, talk, we, yeah, we, we talked about you, that last week. Yeah, yeah. my bless on top of it and a bunch of other stuff. Uh -huh. So. Yeah, yeah, so it, yeah, it's physically impossible. Oh, you're for right. You to I, fail did, a basic I did take resilient. Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, I forgot we, we talked about that last week when I looked yep. up. <laughs> cool. Wait, it does worked resili out. Resilience advantage or it, it gives resilient him a proficiency boosts, bonus. To yeah, I get proficiency bonus saves. to my con save, which is oh. really nice. So he has that so, plus his other bonus to his saves. So with my plus, as long plus as I'm conscious, con. then I'm pretty yeah. much guaranteed to never lose concentration. Yes, yeah, so Ignatius is able to focus in on the task at hand and. Never lose concentration unless he takes a severe amount of damage. Okay. So that is that. Um, any bonus action or is that it from you? Uh, that'd be it. Okay. okay. Um, our boy here is... I guess he's going to get to do his fun roll. See if anything exciting happens. And it does. Guess who gets to make wisdom saves again? All of you. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So plus a D four. Then me and Chork don't forget plus two, mm -hmm. and we can possibly take it. Yeah, plus D four if we want. Wisdom. Yep. I don't think I'm in your plus two. No. Or is it far enough right now? You're too far, yeah. And then I have to roll a. D Hold on. I don't even think it would make it because I think his spell it is save a 15. is fifteen. Yep. Uh, Ignatius, you're still Im immune from this effect, oh, fortunately. Yay. Augustus, you pass. Anemone, with the um, help of Ignatius's Eight. ability, you pass. And yeah. Wick. Yeah, you see, uh, you see this thing just immediately begin tearing apart um, your creation right after you built it. It's taking your cannon and just bashing it across the rocks, scattering it into pieces. How did it get it? It was all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. And then it casts its eyes towards what seems to be a completely working copy of your previous creation you had within the tree. It seems no. to want to tear it all apart. No. You are certainly being manipulated within your mind, but you are very much frightened at this moment. Smart enough to understand can't stop it. <laughs> You're like, I know what's happening right now, but it's still I so don't sad. Because I just, yeah, it's like, I've seen this. Um, anyway, oh. the birdie boys are coming into play. Oh, God. So, unfortunately, this one's going to uh, fly in at Anemone. And... 
it's going to make two attacks. So it's going to peck at you. Because you're a big scary Locked? bear. Yeah. Listen. We're so dead. We're so dead. We're dead. We're dead. You don't have to bully me like this. Yeah, I do. Crap. Uh, and talent you attack on the bear as well. Before? Oh, hold on. Eep. Oh my gosh. These dice. Uh, so bear takes uh, twenty-seven points of damage. Do you remember how much I took before? Cause I uh, no. just accidentally cleared my calculator. Crap. It was. Let's look back. Was it that nineteen? Summoned... Oh, it was nineteen. <laughs> well, yes. Anemone is now not bear anymore. Eep. Mm. So the bears no. don't seem to be you doing too well on this health field. point shields, though. That's helpful. So yeah, at least it's soaking up some attacks. Uh, Wick, you are going to need to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, he's not attacking me? No, he's doing something much worse. All Plus right. D4. Okay, go ahead, roll it. Uh, so roll 1d4. Oh, man. So you see as this thing <laughs> exhales... Wow. A similar cloud of dust that seemed to be um, crawling across the battlefield. Um, but immediately you begin choking on the air. And mm -hmm. you just find it hard to breathe and you are considered feared as well as poisoned now. Poison. Okay. Can I... Are trying to kill us? Hold on. They told you how can... scary now Feshni is. They told you, those snake people. They did. You ain't wrong about that. Oh no, it's a, it's it's melee. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, but Wick, it is your turn. If you would like to make actions against this adversity, you may. So, what does the poison condition do? Disadvantage on attacks? Yeah, good news. It gives you disadvantage when you already have disadvantage. So, realistically, at the moment, not much worse. Um, at the moment, you're at a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. Is it worth <laughs> it to? However, you do take 10 points of damage from the poison. From the oh poison. My God. Is That's it right. worth it to... Oh, God. Is it? Um, aye, get rid aye, of aye. this effect? You still um, have the fear effect, so it's going to be disadvantage until you get rid of both effects either way. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll try. Um, I'm going to use an action to spin my ring to give myself back a spell slot of okay. second level. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to take <laughs> a plastic bag and I'm going to like do the... like airplane like oxygen method and i'm gonna cast lesser restoration on myself okay try and get some good clean oxygen into me as you do that you're um, able to focus on your breathing and i'm not it says i can get rid of poisoned yep so cool removing the poison effect cool i want to Run away. <laughs> Fantastic. So, Before I make my see. Because I have to do it at the end of my turn, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, five, ten, twenty, or thirty. Make it up this hill. Um, let's see. It's twice just to get up that hill part, so you can get that far. Uh, this far? Okay. Yeah. However, you do get slashed at as you uh, take an attack of opportunity. <coughs> and shield. take... I think. No, I can't, because I cast a spell already. Is shield a... Reaction. a reaction. It's a reaction, but... It's a reaction uses a level one spell mm -hmm. slot. So I don't believe you've used uh, a reaction yet, unless you're Silvery Barbs this turn. But I haven't have... used a reaction, but I've used a spell. Because I used... Um, that's fine. That's how shield works. So it's a lot. It still takes a spell slot, though? It still does use a slot, yes. But 
Okay. You can still do it. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. What's your no, AC? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shield. It won't matter. It it will. It won't matter. Okay. I'm gonna save this boss. Alive. Fourteen points of damage. Okay. All right. Things are not looking entirely good. Rex, how will you save your party? We got this. I had to make my wisdom save. Uh, yes, I'm gonna do. Uh, oh. Ooh. I, I, I. Mm, I, I had to open my big fat mouth about not doing well last week. I'm going to do uh, Total Dead on the Rock. That just attacked Wick. Okay. Crash. Go for it. It must make its own save. Okay. And it's wisdom, right? Yes. yes. It is unaffected. Ah. <gasps> Uh, still, your save DC is 14? Seems that doesn't to be so. seem right. Now, I will look into his character sheet considering how incorrectly set up it was in previous events. <laughs> I was going to say, you cast a spell earlier and it was 16. <laughs> what happened? Mm. It wouldn't have mattered, but... No, I suppose it me. wouldn't here, but... I'll look later. All right, and if then it I'm gets also going to do... Because everyone's getting messed up. I'm going to do a mass healing word. Okay. Ooh. Well, fantastic. Like to, uh, that just targets um, everyone, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Glad it'll hit everyone. i take that one HP point. Yeah, you're welcome. You're going to get one. Here it comes. Yeah, seven. I mean... To everybody? Uh, Yes. That's, that's, that's actually the max I can hit. <laughs> Very good. Good job. Wow. Well, you Tark's cast, back at full. Nemini's back at full. Not bad. That's true. They've not been hit. Well, the enemy's been hit with bears. Yeah, as a bear. Mm -hmm. um, and that hits that. me as well, so I also get seven. Excellent. Okay, I have a different plan now, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I trust you. <laughs> I'm excited to see it. Uh, Chork gets to go. One. Chork gets Man, to go. Burn into the spells. Turn into a Power Ranger and be like, bear power up. All right, Chork is going to uh, make some aggressive attacks here and uh, recklessly attack with his crowbar. Yeah, Chork. He's in. He's in. There we go. <laughs> so just similar to how Ignatius was when he broke the fear, as soon as Chork breaks the fear, everything focuses in, and he just nails two perfect hits. Hitting this thing once right in the back of um, where it's connected to its wing. The other time it spins around and he just thuds it in the chest with the heavy end of the crowbar before stabbing the pointy end at its foot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Four, 22, 23, 25 points of damage. Nice. Pretty formidable. Or 26, rather. Yes. Okay. Now, Feshni is seeming to look panicked. Um, it is going to use its legendary actions to poof away once again. What? And reappear back at the previous cloud it was at. Bro. Ah. Uh... So you still got this enemy. me. What's your plan? Um. Okay. Uh, actually, that should be fine. Uh, Anemone realizes that her poofing in and out of bear isn't really working, and also I just have swift wild shapes now and not the big ones, so she's coming up with a different strategy, and she's going to try and dominate the creature to Ooh. hold him still for the rest of them to attack, mm. um, which is kind of unfortunate now that he's far away from everybody. But we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to try and, you know make it not move now um so yeah. she casts dominate beast at level four Ooh. okay so you beguile a beast it must succeed a wisdom saving throw or be charmed by you uh it is indeed within 60 feet of you so let's go for it it is going to make a wisdom saving throw um this is a magical effect so it does have advantage on it no, but if it fails it. it's You're stuck wrong. Yeah. 
No. Mm-mm. No, oh, it's not, still 20. not quite. It's got advantage. Oh, advantage. Oh. Sorry. My bad. I got excited. So for a moment, you think you have him. But then once again, his little sparkly wings just scintillate and scatter the spell, allowing him to move again. I'm sad. I like the I like the choice. It's just no, it was a it was a good choice. It's hard to get him <laughs> pin him down with this stuff. Uh, Ignatius, um, I didn't say I was done yet. Okay, say what you want to do then. <laughs> uh, with the swift wild shape, like, can I still morph into cool things or? Is um, it do I have it marked down as a bonus action or a uh, <clears throat> regular action? Um, you have it marked as a regular. Action. So you're not able to do it this turn, and it doesn't really turn into combat-ready creatures necessarily. Okay. Um, it's but you can use like it cleverly bird. if you think yeah. of any fun idea. Poop on it. Next turn. Okay. I have more ideas. Okay. Cool. Ignatius, as you're ready for another attack, it goes away. Okay. No worries. Then Ignatius is going to realize what's happening. And, um... What can I do? What can I do? Um, Wick's still in distress, right? Uh, yes, it would appear yeah. so. Let's see here. Oh, uh, like frightened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, nothing's um, attacking me right now, but I'm what like. What I might do then? Yeah. I will, because at least an enemy's been fighting pretty well. So I'm gonna go. Uh, and, uh, yeah, fifteen and twenty. Oh, kind of clamor up here. Get next to you. Um, and I'm going to drop my uh, shield, and I'm going to cast Heroism onto Ooh. Wick. You are now immune to being frightened, so you will be immediately cleared of your fearful state. You see Ignatius standing in front of you, looking stalwart as ever, and he's like, we need you in this fight. Get back in. Oh. And that I is... That uh, hits Ash a little that bit. Point. You also will gain temporary hit points equal to Ooh. my spell casting modifier, which is not <laughs> much. <laughs> but well, actually, well, spell casting modifier is that proficiency? Oh yeah, the modifier that... plus. It's um the proficiency plus your um charisma bonus. Okay, so that'll be so you get five, five temp hit points. I'll take it. And that'll be obviously as long as I'm concentrating on you, which, as we can tell, has been pretty solid so far. So. Okay. Um, I guess it's Big Scary Boy's turn again. He's gonna see if he gets any fun abilities back. He does not. So, um, what is he going to do? He used all that stuff, he used all that stuff. I guess he's just gotta go kill Rex. Okay. Can we just, can we just stop bullying me right now? <laughs> Your closest, I'm sorry. Uh, two claw attacks on Rex. Oh! Uh, fortunately, they are not crits, but that's, that's a lot of that's damage. Still dirty, that's still dirty damage. So mm -hmm. And then the one to really be afraid of is Bite Attack. He's going to open his big old tusked jaw. And as he does, you see not necessarily rows of teeth within his mouth, but many more little tusks pointing out from his gums. Ooh. In a gnarled fashion that can't seem to possibly bite effectively on anything. And in this one moment, oh, wow. it is entirely ineffective. <laughs> oh my As gosh. you avoid taking that 35 damage. I think I would have just straight up died. <laughs> yeah. Wait, over, would have overcapped that much? It wouldn't have. Oh my it's god. A lot. I, it would have been insane. I, I I don't have a lot of health left, and that would have destroyed me. Yeah, he would have been very unconscious. Um, do you keep bless? Well, I gotta do a con save. You mean two con saves, actually, for those two hits. One. But you are now within my radius of 15 feet. Yep, Yay. 15 feet you're in. So that's one, one success. Two success two. is easy. God, I'm concentrated because I'm so terrified. Yeah, that's, that's the if only I, thing I want to concentrate focus, on. Don't focus, I die. Yeah, <laughs> it's like when you get a concussion. I can't fall asleep. I can't fall asleep. I can't fall asleep. <laughs> Actually, sorry, it's ten feet, fifteen. Okay. Um, I am in pain. <laughs> but the danger is not all past yet. The Vrocks are going to come into play. They don't have to. And. <laughs> 
can Anemone, Ignatius, Wick, and Shorik <sighs> all give me a constitution saving throw? Indeed. Wick and uh, Ignatius, <gasps> of course, get their own bonuses hey. there. <gasps> Twinsies! I'm gonna... I'm gonna hurt someone. Gosh, Wick. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt someone. I have... Con and Int are my, like, highest saving throws. Well, um, Even with a good D4 news and bad news, Wick. It's a 10. Um, good news, you're not frightened anymore, but you are stunned. Ah! For this turn. Mm. Um, as is Chorik, unfortunately. Um, but that's all that they do for their turn. Um, Rex, you're up. Okay. Well, everything sucks. But it can only get worse. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my new dragon breath on it. Ooh, <laughs> fun, fun, fun. <laughs> I feel like this is, this is a sacrifice you have to make now. I have to actually be a dragon. I oh. don't know if I can click it. I, I don't think it's going to... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it does have a thing. Yay! Me? Dragon fear. Okay. He keeps frightening us. Screw him. I'm going to frighten him back. <laughs> All right. His own wisdom save comes into play. He fails. Nice. <laughs> okay, and I believe you uh, get to roll damage as well, is it? Yeah, so I rolled damage, and then let me double check. This is brand new, so I don't know yeah. all the details on it. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, but yes, he failed. He is now frightened Eight plus of proficiency you. plus charisma. Yeah. DC 8. Uh, I don't know my proficiency is. Oh, yes. oh. I did it. DC. Okay. DC yeah. Mm -hmm. Technically speaking, in the in the text, I'm not sure if this applies. It's um, it does say kind of a custom a thing we did for it, I think. That's so fair. yes, agreed. That so it was dragon breath on top of dragon fear. fear. Yes, yeah. makes sense. So, so that so dragonborn dragon breath would actually be viable in combat. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, because I was... never use it. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, one second, let me just. Type so yeah, it's it not out a lot of damage, quick. but you know, roll it out. So one d eight. <laughs> what is it? One d eight. Plus Proficiency bonus three. plus charisma modifier. Plus three. <laughs> Plies the math. Plus three. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! What now? Minimum damage of seven. But hey, think about it this way. He's scared of me, so I don't want to attack He is afraid of you. He, he does take half damage from this valiant um, breath yes. you do. But regardless, oh. it gets in his <laughs> eyes. It throws off his, um, you know concept of what is fear and what is not he is afraid of you when in his mind everything should be afraid of him does he have a resistance to all kinds of damage I did. nearly yeah i i know uh. i didn't i didn't want to say anything because i know what he does but he is very resistant uh. to about everything mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but very good he is now feared afraid of you if he's afraid of me can i move away without him attacking I think he still can, but he'll have disadvantage can, on right? the attack. I'm not which... gonna move if he hits yeah, me. I'm gonna I don't know about that. Okay. Um, so Chorik now gets to be stunned next turn. Okay, Anemone's up. Yay. Good enemy. Um, Anemone still wants to do something in order to make him a little bit less of a threat. So now she's gonna try to reduce his size. Um, okay. And make him less scary. So I cast enlarge reduce. All right. He has to do a Constitution saving throw. Are you within thirty feet of him? Yes, you are. Perfect. Uh, All right. He has really good con with his advantage. I don't see him failing, but he failed. That's what happened. He did not. I say he's willing. I think he really just wants to be a small pig. So yeah, he just I agree. You know, he's just self-conscious. About how big and ugly he is, so he wants to be a tiny he little. He wants guy. to be scary, though. He he likes the big and ugly. Alexander's yeah, actually gonna be... kill us with the amount of bargaining. No, like actually, <laughs> like how... all from all of us, all of us being like, "What about this?" What about this? And he's just like, "No." no. <laughs> it's okay. It's what you Admittedly, to this do? thing is incredibly good against you guys. Seeing yeah, that Ignatius is the only one who can do full damage to it, and it can teleport away. Well, so. and I think it, we've been in two encounters. It's fine, the five Alexander. The you could just say that Iggy's your favorite. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think Ignatius is his favorite. I die almost every fight. So, not this one. 
Well, not well, yet. Well, he took a lot of damage this fight. He just healed a lot of it back up. Um, but anyway, speaking of which, my star child, it's your turn. Oh my god. <laughs> Torek, you gotta wake up, Torek, it's your turn. He's talking about you. Oh okay, well, the rock is there. I see Wick is completely stunned. I'm trusting that an enemy's good because I, I've got faith I'm just in her. Like... Um, and so I'm just going to go and hit that rock or try to hit the rock twice with okay. my lovely pick of prospecting. That one did not hit at all. This one has a chance of hitting, I presume. And it does indeed hit. Cool beans. I shall also divine smite it. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. That is a good chunk of... 19 damage. Cool. That's all. Poop. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Don't, Don't fall in. kill me while I'm gone. <laughs> Spawn Short another bear. See happen. what happens. Um, anyway. Uh, She's going to fight you. I know. I'm she in will. so much trouble after She's this. She's going to poop on you. This is the last D&D &D session because Alexander is going to be dead. I know. The, the, <laughs> the, the, the party is going to find a way to kill the DM. Not just that what he throws at <laughs> Wouldn't them the be DM. the first time. Yeah. Probably not. Milo pop in and be like, hey guys, I figured out the reason why I'm being so yeah. problematic. It's because of this here person like 20 minutes. in this guy who is <laughs> oh, causing no. us the problems. They all figured it out. How do you want to do this? I want the damage to go through the screen into the DM. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Dominate, oh, dominate creature. It's going to be dominate DM next He's time. He's afraid of you. Mm-hmm. But he must defeat his fear at all costs. How about he doesn't? <laughs> Claw attack at disadvantage. 16. How much is. How about, oh my god, I barely pass. No, <laughs> oh, I No, I barely, I, oh, I barely yeah. pass. Okay. <laughs> Claw attack number two. 15. Yeah. All right, I pass bolt. Nice. And third attack is coming through, I'm sure. But your armor class is higher than 21. That what? Well, no, no, it's it's be oh. disadvantaged. Yeah, yeah. Oh, disadvantaged. He's, he's scared of me. Scared. Oh, it's yeah. 15. Okay, okay, okay. It's gonna bite now. And then also he gives me a plus two as well. Oh no! I can't do anything. I'm stunned. Oh well. No, I think you're just stunned until the end of your turn. So. Technically, I'm uh, stunned, unless if you're doing like monk, it's their turn. Oh, well, their turn. Yeah, yeah you're right. Okay. Stun is still, the end of their turn. I'm still good because of oh, the disadvantage good. and the and I get the AC boost from Ignatius. Uh, Ignatius doesn't give AC boost. He just oh, was it saving not? Oh, it's plus two. How much does that go down by? What disadvantage? The damage doesn't it's go a down. 20. It's, just to hit. It's uh, a twenty. It, it's a twenty. Uh, but Ignatius gives a plus two to saving Only throws. Only for saving throws. Mm. Is that so? <laughs> it is indeed. Yeah. Uh, so this time you all well, see as it. You have shield or absorb elements? Uh, you you think I know. <laughs> so it chomps uh, down on Rex and just ragdolls him across the. Uh, uh, ba, 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 ba. What? Race ability. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to use his... Okay. Boom, boom. That grad spark. Okay. So, you reduce to zero hit points, and well, you do have your twice. reaction. It's actually pretty safe, because no one's within 10 feet of you right now. Yeah, yeah so I'm very good. nice. Okay, uh, so it takes radiant damage equal to your level wow. plus charisma modifier. Yeah. Um, what level are you, and how much charisma are you at? Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, level 8 in my charisma modifier mm -hmm. is a 3. All right, it takes 11 points of damage, and this thing is noticeably upset and still terrified of you even more now. I would love for it, to, like, visually to be like, I'm in the mouth, and then I do that to, like, bust yeah, out. Yeah, and this thing just, you know, <laughs> smoke just spills out of its yeah. mouth as you do that. And um, I think it does get to make another wisdom save now. Yeah, uh, against the fear. What's your, what's your DC for that fear? I think it's a 15. I think it's a 15, too. It's a 14. He succeeds. Oh. Ah. He's so relieved. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm actually cheering He's for you. He's not frightened Just... anymore. Yeah. Um, but that is all of his attacks. And I got to do a bless save. Hold on a second. Yeah, true. So just one. Actually, I think once. you will lose bless because, well, do you go on? You were reduced to zero. 
It'd be concentration. Then, like, yeah, just do the con save. It, I was gonna say it depends on yeah, how you roll. It depends on the ability, like, so we'll let you do it. It's almost like he's like hey, about to fall and then goes oh, oh, like so like. Hmm. What is my everyone's bus is gone? No. Yes, nice though. Very good. So there. Yeah, stop freaking out. You're gonna flash the audience. It's nervous. It's I know. It's flashing green. It's freaking out. It's like, oh my goodness, my man's gonna die. Me? <laughs> Not my boy. The camera. No, my camera. My... Oh. camera. oh. <laughs> As you can see, it flashing with greed. <laughs> Who he died? doesn't get anything back. Um, Rex just Rex got nearly zero. Almost pointed. Yeah, I nearly just died. I'm at one HP. <clears throat> cool. Um, but now it's the Vrox's turn, so Anemone, now we get the chance to kill you. It's going no. to beak at you. Should be fine. Um, with a 21, my... These rolls. You take 11 For points of rolls. damage. You... What do you mean, these rolls? You have a plus 10 to hit. <laughs> no, this one doesn't. <laughs> this is a little oh, guy. Oh, plus 5. Yeah. yeah wow, putting rolls. me up against a little guy. I see how it is. Yeah. You want to swap? I'll, gl I'll, gladly, yeah. I'll gladly swap with you. <laughs> Destroy. And Ignatius, uh, one attack towards you. Okay. Twenty-one. Oh, they would have gone does. through anyway, so that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Fourteen points of damage on you. He doesn't have the the shield anyway anymore because he is channeling mm -hmm. it on Wick. Or channeling the. But hit good hits. news, Wick, you finally get to have a turn. Yay! Yeah. You're not poisoned. You're not afraid. You're not stunned. God, crazy! How's he? How's the big guy looking? Oh, he's looking real bad. You see him spilling oozes out of several orifices. It's bad. Good, because I'm gonna cannon and firebolt him through my uh, slingshot. Okay. The arcane railgun fires once again. Do it. Do it. Firebolt, and That's I get a, a plus hit. D8. The bash row one d eight. I'm gonna for a whopping uh, three I'm, damage. I'm Doing something. If it took it over the edge. It could have been two. Now it's three. And so then it contributes. Or ballista. There you go. Why am I critting on the force ballista? <laughs> if you had, if at you least had. it's a force ballista, it means it's actually Only doing at... damage. It's like the force bullets is genuinely a railgun because it's just one straight line and it's just like a mm -hmm. like a bunch of air just essentially. Battering away. So this thing yeah. just chomped down on a dragon, had it explode in its mouth. Now he's getting pelted with more attacks. Couldn't even finish the the frail dragonborn off, and now uh, it's Rex's uh, turn again. I'm just catching these frails with all these things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah no fear. What's <laughs> that? I uh, I want to move, but this thing is up here. to you. I'll mm, I'll stay. I'll stay. I'll stay. All right, Rex. Um, it's still <laughs> it's still there. Um, well, it's still there. It's still looking at me. Is that spore stuff still on me? Um, no, it doesn't been seem so to long. be on you anymore. Okay, so at least but this thing does seem to be gone. just radiating more of those spores. Uh, well, I don't got much left in the tank. So, because man, have I been blowing spell slots? Um, almost tapped, and <laughs> we just started the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, you mean knew we were fighting something big though? So I, I know. Like I did it. I'm gonna do. I thought we were going to the tree first. I'm gonna do an inflict wounds. It's not always battle ready. Inflict wounds. Okay. Yep. It's a magical like attack, that. so. Yeah, um, I know it's gonna be a disadvantage. No, I, no, it's not actually. It only has um, advantage against saving throws, so you get around it oh, like this. It might nice. still take half damage. That being said. Yeah, but. So I gotta pray I hit well. Where the heck is my inflict wounds? Oh, there it is. Hit well. Uh, hit I'm gonna well. do it at a level three. Not okay. everyone can be a Valkyrie. That hits exactly on his AC. Oh, thank God. <gasps> Meets it, beats it. Yep. It, it takes full damage from necrotic damage. Yay. Nice. Full? 
Yeah, necrotic so and radiant now, are like right? the only things it doesn't resist. So only people stand up. <laughs> it's real low. Nah. I don't know any necrotic. This thing just seems to be like half melting at this point. Okay, I did that a little green. Uh, um, and it is going to attempt. It's going to. No, oh, I can't do that on. It wants to move, but that's not it's how it works. It's going to attempt murder. Yes. Well, I guess it might be Chorik's turn. Because it's going to... Yeah, it's going to hold off on his uh, legendary action until... No, he can't. All right, Rex. you done the group of solid, but you're getting the claw. <laughs> no! <laughs> not the claw! This not thing's backed claw. into a corner. It can't teleport not away right now. It can't do anything else but attack. The claw. The claw. Pinch, failed, pinch, right? pinch. Odds by one AC. <laughs> I'm knocked. Okay. Yeah, it beat me by one. Oof. Very good. And then it's going to run its full movement away. Wow. Oh, you. There, little... there it goes. That's its full movement. He's uh, a meanie. <laughs> he's, Ow. He's got some stubby legs. <laughs> um. Up next, Chorik gets to go. Ten. Go, Chorik. Go. Kill it, Chorik. Oh no. Chark can't oh. get there. Um, Throw your crowbar. <laughs> Chark's going to use an improvised weapon by throwing his crowbar. <laughs> throw me. Throw me, Bob. Throw me. <laughs> it takes 10 points of Dragonborn damage. Throw me. <laughs> Bob, throw me. Okay. So Chork will make this attack. Oh, crowbar. that's not what I want to do. So, I'm so sorry. I started to do a line. Purple flash. Unfortunately, the crowbar also does not hit as he throws it. Throw the can. That's Chork's turn. Anemone, it's up to you. Come on, Anemone. Can I just shoot her with an arrow and kill it? <laughs> I'm gonna say it's health is, uh, it might be in a single digits right now, so if ever there's a time. Really? Okay. I, I mean, I don't know if you'll still hit it, and it has. I, I also love how enemies just like being pestered by this rock behind her. Just, yeah. just, not now. <laughs> I'll get it. you later. I don't want to deal with me. it right now. Um, <laughs> no, I appreciate that. I think it's good. How far can I shoot a short bow? Far enough. <laughs> I think. Short bow is like 80 mm, feet, probably 60. Okay, minimum. so we're fine. Well I think it's 30, 80, and then a long bow is. No. Long bow it, is like 80. A long bow is 120, or... 120, 500. Yeah, that's what it is. And then a short bow is 60. You're within range. So. 6,300? Okay, does that, is that like a full action to shoot a short bow? Yes. And since you're not a martial class, you just get one attack. So was if you have he... any spells that you can cast at it or something, that's an option too. But yeah, I was looking because I have infestation. Mm -hmm. Um, I can give it bugs. <laughs> uh, give it fleas. Uh, give it fleas. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do infestation for more fun, and then me's just like kind of tap. She doesn't <laughs> know what to do. I can't bear knows. anymore. <laughs> she I knows don't one time she got the fleas and it was awful. So, at, oh. at the very least, hopefully they distract him. She's casting infestation. Okay. Let's see. He'll probably save, but he might not. No, he's not. So he had advantage on his saving throw. Um, <clears throat> didn't matter. He now has a bad case of the fleas for two points of damage. If yeah. that roll was higher, Sorry, I was gonna see what it was. that would be a most fantastic way to end him. But yeah, <laughs> you hit. <laughs> nice. Um, I don't know if I have any more bonus actions with two damage. So I think that's it. Okay. So yeah, he's now festering with fleas as he tries to escape. And it is Ignatius' turn before he gets to act again. 
Cool. All right, I'm going to keep Kill working him. on... Go flick him. <laughs> the thing is, I, I potentially could if I want to, but I'm thinking how Ignatius would, and he's going to assume everyone else has got him. He's going to worry about the creature who's right here because um, he can do more with that because he can hit twice with that as compared to just doing a spell and negating things. So he's going to try and pick this Brock twice. Okay. Um, let me look at his thingy again. He... Will not share his AC with me. Both hit. Cool. That'll be Ignatius' turn then. Okay. Now, oh, Malfeshni. Yeah. Does he get to do anything fancy? Nope. No more making everyone is scared. So, he is going to... Can't get super far. But he's going to once again teleport to the next cloud. And attempt to run at his full movement. And then at that point, lift off into the air just a few feet and start to take wing. He seems to be trying to escape. Uh, that's his turn. Next up, uh, more chompy chomps. Bring him on. So... Actually, we'll see if they get cool abilities again. No poison. So, Thank a beak God. for Anemone. Failing miserably. And a nice. beak for Ignatius. Failing as well. Here? Nice. Alright. Wick, you're up. It's getting far. I'm gonna do something so stupid. <laughs> I like stupid. I'm gonna run. I want to run. I want to do take a dash to run sixty feet. Okay. You can do that. It was here, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, One well, more. Yeah. And then let me see. So Misty Step is 30 feet. Oh, yes it uh -huh. is. I wanted to get in front of him, but that's 35. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll just go right next yeah. to him. It'd certainly be within attack of opportunity range at minimum. And perhaps, you know, better effect for next turn. So, I'm going to use that, like, smoke powder <laughs> that I used yep. before. Misty step. This is so stupid. I want to tap him on the shoulder. <laughs> and, or, like, tap his foot. And just point back at him. <laughs> I think, uh, oh, wait, actually, no, I don't think I can do both. Because you dash technically, which would be your action. Yeah, you've yeah. used action and bonus and action. And then bonus one, so action. Anything is... else is just flavor. Yeah. I so wanted to set get my. your plan ready? I wanted to set my thing off again. Hmm. My cannon. Um... Yeah, the misty step is the bonus action. Yeah. Oopsie. Oh, well. All I'll right. just. You're here stand now. There and be like, oh, hey, you're right there, like... which is good. Yep, it's going to legendary point. action uh, bite at you. You're delaying it. Good job. Keeping keeping it nearby. Yikes. Oh, Quick take man. 34 points of piercing damage. Um, I'm going to reaction absorb elements. Because it's not magical, right? It is not magical. Okay. So. I don't think absorb chat. elements can do piercing you have resistance to the triggering damage type until the start of the next turn also the first time you hit with a melee attack on your next turn the target takes an extra when 1d6 take acid, of the triggering cold, fire, type. lightning or thunder damage is what the reaction depends on yeah so it wouldn't work for a non-elemental attack yeah. yeah it has to be specifically one of those uh, elements to use oh cause when it said um Oh, storing it for for my next melee attack. Yeah. I read that wrong. I thought it was only melee attacks that can absorb it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Uh, I'm... 
I'll s I don't think how I don't think he can roll lower than he, my AC. He is the guy with the plus ten, so. Yeah. Now he can roll elevens all Ouchie. day, but it's uh, unlucky. Thirty-four. Yep. <clears throat> so that's. Uh... All right, Rex. Yeah. What's your move? Uh, death save. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <Ouch>. true. <laughs> Why you don't need that? Uh, You're fine. Death save. <laughs> I just see him yeah, still over here with zero health. I he got forgot bitten. to add my temp HP. Stop. Okay. A little more health. That's for you. true. Yeah, you got your five. I All take right, Rex, that off. you succeed. All right. You're still within the realms of the living. So it's just minus five what you took, Rudy, which would be 29. 29, thank you. Mm -hmm. I can't math. Today. I will not be Celestia yet. 40, 45. Please don't. We don't need that. I really don't want to. <laughs> She's going right. to be pissed. Uh, Chorix up. It's not great. He is going to run up here and pick up his crowbar. <laughs> and throw it again. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to ready his action to throw it. Um, you know, no, he's just going to go for it. This is too risky. Recklessly throwing crowbar. So at advantage, one shot at this. Uh, Wick, a crowbar lands in front of you. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Tork is quite upset with himself. Anemone, your turn. How do I know how far I can move? Uh, you can move 30 feet normally. Uh, and then you can use a little arrow yeah, tool and, to and, and, and every, every tile is uh, five, five feet. feet, yes. So 30 feet. And then... So if she moves like there, I think it was. Um, do I have a clear line of sight to shoot him? With the size of him and him hovering up, you can. I will say the uh, Vrock, which you ran away from, will get an attack of opportunity. Uh, that's fine. He is going to claw at you with his talons. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, uh, Nine damage. Ow. Okay. Well, that's it. Um, What's your move? Hmm. Do I shoot him or do I cast infestation again? Is fe infestation con concentration? I think uh, it's just a cantrip. Yeah, it's just a cantrip. Oh, okay. I was gonna be like, wait, maybe you can move it. Um. So on the cast. Uh, 1d6 poison damage and a bow would be 1d6 piercing. So, you know what? We'll just go for the bow. Anemone is just go for doing it. what she can. So. Alrighty. She. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, the first time she's ever shot a bow in her life. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the arrow just like clappers to the ground as like she. Drops she it before firing. To use it. Yeah. yeah. Try to fire the bow. Just like good try, enemy. <sighs> <laughs> Maybe next time. Thanks, Jorik. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, I think that's all I got. Okay. That brings us to Ignatius. Okay. I see my friends are all running away, and I'm like, where are they going? <laughs> um, I see. It's like, it's hard. I see there are things I could do. I don't think Ignatius would do them. I'm like, because he could just be like, boop. And no, he wouldn't. He'd be like, he's he's still with this thing and wondering what's happening. So we're just going to keep picking at this rock in front of me. Ooh, that's the first one, but one does one's a hit. Six piercing damage. Yeesh. Mm. But no, so Did it die? Uh, no, it, it is still... Uh, you see now it's it's looking like it might be around you know half its vitality but you said it was what? in single digits well no the single digits is for the big attacking guy. something else i'm going uh, for the rock uh. um but now it is the nalfeshni's turn to run away wick you have a chance to attack of opportunity it i'll use a dagger Okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do I it. don't. Off its head. I'm trying to remember if it's the, um, 
Titan Glass Dagger, but I don't know who had that last and if we gave it away. Would have been an enemy if anybody. I think. I think I gave it to the Dragonborn, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Oh, you did. You did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, so I don't you think gave, the, you gave it to Star. Exists anymore. It was a yeah. Back. yeah, he's gone. You it's unfortunately not do not roll, have but... advantage, so you do not hit it. Um, just for sake of uh, the map working for us, I'm just going to move him this way. And he's going to dash even further. Bro. Cool. So how many feet away is he now? Map. He's nearly gone. We have to kill him, otherwise the what's snake it, people will be what's mad. What's his technical distance at this point? Uh, let's just say it's whatever it is in that corner. Well, no, I was just Fuck. curious for, for actual sake of it, because... If, it, if he's starting to get really far away, I've got a spell that's got like 120 range. And so okay, he's within 120. He's with okay. Because he would be probably real close to that. Yeah, at 120. Okay. Just noting it. Okay. Um, that is his turn. The Vrocks will now continue Vrocken. This <laughs> one wants to eat an Emony. Can you Rocking go around the creatures. Can you go away? It's not your turn. I'm busy. Stop touching me. Does 13 hit you? Uh, does it? I think it does. Let me see. Da, da, da. Yeah. All right. So you take 14 <sighs> points of damage. And Ignatius, you, your buddy gives you. Ugh. Tap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, um, well, that's... Did Iggy just die? Ignatius falls down, knocked out. What Yay, both of us are down. That, High that five. That literally just hit. It I'm met my not, 12 points. I'm not in range. So I'm zeroed. Uh, can I roll for... That would be a death save for what I can do, right? At this point now, I assume. Um, once or you get to your turn. turn. Yeah, that's fair. Cool. So, Wick, um... Yeah, we're both You down. don't know that, uh... Ignatius is completely uh, knocked yeah, to the too far away behind you. Look at you it, see? guys. It happened. I knew it was happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, does my cannon have line of sight because it's up? So it would. Um, yeah, I'll say it can have line of sight. Okay. Where it is. Uh, I'm going to force cannon it. Wow. That's a hit. That's a big hit. I'm just going to look at it and go, don't you want to see what you created? All the carnage? It turns around. Do you have an yeah. action by any chance? I do. I have, I can cast Firebolt. I could. So it may matter. You said it was in single digits. No, he. he... Yeah, and it, and, it, and, it, and it resists certain kinds of damage. Oh, true. He has a lot of resistances. Okay. That's true. I only have fire. So I can fire bolt it with my slingshot. Quack. That's a hit. That's 1D. Or that's roll. All good. Oh, you only needed one more point of damage. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, so that once like, again, you know. the arcane battery unleashes upon this guy as he's trying to get away. It pincers him technically because I'm on the other side. So it's like. Mm -hmm. And he smacks to the ground in a splat as feathers and spores fly up into the air. Uh, Anemone, the <laughs> rock next to you, puffs into a pile of feathers as well. Hey. Good freaking riddance. For I they were his the summoned pile. creatures. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Uh. And Nefeshni is defeated. Hey. But how's Rex and Ignatius doing? <laughs> Rex, <laughs> let's find, find out. out. Yeah. Iggy, as soon as she runs right <laughs> past Rex. <laughs> yeah, I figured, I figured that would be a thing that would happen. <laughs> All right, Rex, death save. Did I, did I get a plus fail? two for death saving for I, yes, say, I, cool. I know Rex is down. I would make my yep. way Absolutely. back so in my turn. That makes sense. would run back. Oh, shoot. One. I just, I don't know if we're still in initiative, but <clears throat> I, mm -hmm. could, I could maybe make it there running. It would be like an extra round. I don't know. Yep. It'll take another round for you to get to Rex. Um, Ignatius. Okay. 
You do succeed on your save, but Anemone is uh, there to help you. I cast your wounds whenever I'm able. And he is back up. Uh, Rex, could you give us another uh, save? Yeah. I'm coming. Don't roll a one, please. I will try not to. Great. Nice. Uh, Wick, can you get to him this turn? Uh, well, I think I'm trying. I don't. I think I was here. Okay, so you could have dashed to there. Forty-five, or forty-five, either way, on these two spots, yep. and then thirty. So yeah. Bam, 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 bam. And have you saved any spell slots? <laughs> I have two first levels, so I'm gonna do a cure wounds. All right, Rex, you survive another day. <laughs> yeah. And I have to pee, so we're going to go on a quick break. Woo! Before probably ending shortly after, in case anyone needs to go. So, we'll be right back in just a few minutes. Oh, yeah. <sighs> no, wrong screen. Oh, it's all messed up now. Dude, you have one yeah. job. And And we're back. Ah! <laughs> back in this mid. <laughs> Anemone is no longer bare. Oh, no. no. She, she hasn't been for a while. I want to... Um, I guess I'll just, like, do basic, like, first aid on stuff, but, like, do incorporate the magic, but I want to just, like, lean down and, like, kind of just, like, cradle Rex a little bit while I'm healing him. Just being like, it's okay. You like you did good. <laughs> I'll just be like half conscious. Be like, it's nice to see you, Ash. Uh, <laughs> we win. <laughs> we did. That's good. I feel. Excuse me. I'm gonna. You know. I'm just gonna rest in your arms for a little while. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I think a few. I think her eyes get a little watery. Has anyone seen my crowbar? <laughs> it's up on the hill. It's where you tossed it last. Where I tossed it was at the thing and it, it missed. It, okay, go like go like south and then like a little a little east. See him like holding his hand up to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> go like 
Go that. I just point behind me. Go that mm -hmm. way. <laughs> sure, it goes to. <laughs> it's like here, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yep. Like somewhere in that area. Yeah. I'd be just gonna do some some checks to try to find it. Okay, he finds it. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows where his crowbar's at. Perception on point. Anemone is trying to look over Ignatius to make sure he's Gucci. She's listen, like lifting up his arm and trying mm. to listen for a, a heartbeat in his armpit. Um, <laughs> she can't find one, so she moves to his foot. <laughs> what are you looking um, for? I mean, your heartbeat. Oh well, it, it'd be right. He 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 like okay. gestures over and he gently takes her hand and he puts it where his heart would be and he says it's right it's right here. Do you feel it? Oh, weird. That's all right though. You you took a lot of hits there. I think you probably handled more than I did. Yeah, but I was a bear, so it doesn't really count. Well, you know, you being a bear is still you. Yeah, I guess. Do you still good. like me when I'm a bear and not a goat? Well, yeah, you're, you're still an enemy, so nothing really changes. Heck yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to be hanging out with a bear all the time, but, you know, if you happen to be a bear and not yourself, then I probably would still like you. Okay, shh, 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 shh. you're injured. He looks <laughs> inside his mouth. Uh, why, <laughs> There's why, a tongue in there. Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> oh. Uh, that's a tongue. She it's a off. rock tongue? <laughs> no. <sighs> Can I close my mouth now, please? Uh, hold on one second. Okay, yeah. You can. Oh, okay. Everything uh, looked a okay in there. Alright. Um, How many fingers am I holding up? Thinks for a moment. Hmm. 21. Correct. Alright, I think you're good. Good. Uh, hey, Wick, how's Rex? Is he okay? Or Ash? He's fine. He's just resting. Okay. Is he a baby? Well, just see you're what I'm taking out of him. One. I did get knocked, then revived myself, then knocked again. <laughs> mm. He kind of, like, exploded out of that thing's mouth, so I think he took a lot out of himself. That's fair. That was a big fight we just had. Tork, are you okay? <sighs> Did you find your crowbar? Yeah, I got it. I'm fine. <laughs> well, that's good. Insight check. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Wick's notoriously bad at insight I'm checks. ready for this one! <laughs> Hey. Oh, oh yeah! The curse has been broken. I don't think the curse has been broken. Well, Chork Chork might just be days. really easy to. <laughs> <laughs> Chork's just having one of those moments where he's disappointed in himself in that battle. Oh, buddy. he has his on days and his off days. Oh, buddy! He's emotionally damaged. Emotional damage. <laughs> I'll just reach my hand out to like, from like my kneeling position to hold his hand for a second. <laughs> Give him a little squeeze, like a little hand squeeze. What did that thing show all of you? You mean the mental illusions it was making in our brains? What? Yeah, luckily I didn't fall for that. Mm. I wonder what he saw me as. <laughs> Mine was weird. It was destroying my creation but I don't know if it's like I don't know if it's because I saw like it doing it to other people but honestly I don't know if it picked like the worst thing but it was pretty scary to watch something that I created be destroyed so easily hmm. indeed it was <laughs> yeah it was... If you want to talk about yours, no. we're here. Okay. An enemy is just looking at you all like you're crazy. 
Well, you guys keep having this weird bonding moment about visions and whatever. I'm going to go <laughs> chop off the thingy's head. Uh, yeah, I can <laughs> I can come with you, an enemy. Don't worry. Okay. We'll, we'll do it together. Relationship bonding do, do, time, do, do, chopping do. off a monster's head. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do laugh. need to bring back proof. Yeah. Yep. Do, 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 it didn't just poof into a pile of feathers, right? <laughs> nope, it... just many oh. parts of its hey, body. How heavy is that head going to be? Okay. <laughs> it's a big old head. Imagine my yeah. head, but even bigger. Dang. Oh, that's a, a real big head. <laughs> <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> oh, wow. Not in a dirty sense. It's got a big head. Ted's probably the size of an emony. <laughs> yeah, Ted seems to be not like, you know, unreasonably massive, but it's like a two foot tall head. Hmm. I How think it's at least this? like four feet. The bargaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so? it's a... <laughs> it's a four foot tall head. The, the skull is cracked heavier. open, so it's kind of splayed out across the ground oh, a little bit. Oh, cool. Stretches out. Yeah. So how are we gonna get this off of it? Because can my... I cast enlarge reduce now? Sure can. On it. <laughs> um, and make it smaller so he's easier to carry. Yep, the head is now smaller for <gasps> one hour. Can I like? Does he have any like pants on? Can one I, hour. Like... <laughs> Uh, he I just like, kind of has a heavy fur situation going on down there. Does he have any any snacks or, like, prizes for me? <laughs> I want to loot the body. <laughs> We're all so bad now. <laughs> so bad. We think about lower torso ever, to your snacks. Ever since the Basilisk, we're now just looting bodies. We just don't care anymore. We're like, you just gotta steal everything. Okay, go ahead and make an investigation <laughs> check. Luke I will. Thank you. We'll help you. Our loot goblin um, next to you. Yes. Our loot goblin arc begins. And where's investigation? I was not here to stop us anymore. Am I stupid? Where's <laughs> investigation? It's on the uh, side with all the other. Oh, I found it. I have a negative yeah. two. Wow. Ooh. That's a negative one. <laughs> you find a feather. <laughs> Is it a pretty feather? <laughs> it's like a black feather and it's burnt off on one side. That's freaking lame. Can I like take one of his like fingers or something? Sure. I want to add it to my necklace. Cool. It's, after a while, it's just gonna like the skin is just gonna slaw. Off of it. I'm gonna take the. How do you skin think the rest got there? You know? Yeah. Oh, you're taking the finger bone. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. well, she's taking the whole finger, but she's gonna, right. you know. He has many yeah, various later. tusks that are chipped and broken as well. If you want any of those. Ooh, uh, I'll take a tusk. Not like an oversized tusk, mm. but like. Those. Little creepy mouth tusks. Yeah. All right. Funny. Get that to add to your little collection. Cool. Uh, nice. Ignatius, as she's doing that, you see um, this thing has a uh, key key ring attached to its waist. Oh, cool. Just I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to go over there and use my you know, pick to kind <gasps> of like gently saw away at whatever is holding that key in and get off and out. Where did you find that? I looked all over this thing. It, it, it was really hard to find. It was like stuck really it far in the It must have fur. been. Jeez. Well, good thing I have you here. It's a good thing I got you here. Uh. Okay. I think we got this key. Uh, anything else you need from this or are we glad to just take this head and bring it back? Um. I think I'm good. Okay. Then, all right, I guess I'll grab the head with Ignatius's big muscles, and he's going to take it and lift it now, because it's only, like, two feet oh, now, I imagine. Oh, yeah, and you can use his tusks as, like, easy handles and stuff. Too, like, so. <clears throat> yeah, he's going to be... As far as giant heads go, one of the easier ones to carry. Nice. I've carried, you know, five giant heads. Group. This is the easiest one so far. I'm like, look, everybody, I got a finger. All right, here's the head. Nice. Great. Um... Or no, I, have... I got a tusk. Never mind. Ignatius kind of wiggles his leg because he's got his both his arms holding the head, and he's like, there was a key. I put it in my pocket. I don't know what it's for, though. Um, if any of you wants to look in there, you can just grab it out from my pants. Um, I'll be um, the only one doing that, thank you. I think we'll a... ask before. It's just, it's just a pocket, that's all. It, it just... it... Is that a key in your pocket? Or are you yeah. happy? <laughs> Never mind. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Don't worry about it, Iggy. Um, All right. um, well, okay, we got the head. 
So then, uh, are we gonna go back down the stairs again and talk to the yeah. OT? And we can I go guess we didn't really have to go far. Fortunately, yeah, I know we didn't really get too much today. If we could, do we want to take a rest out here before we go back down there? I mean, as long as we avoid the traps, we should be okay. I wouldn't think there'd be anything to worry about. Do we think we're gonna get into an argument with them? I, mean, I guess got... a rest wouldn't be a bad idea, just in case some stuff goes down. They didn't seem very well. I guess trusting that we were actually going to be able to kill the thingy so yeah and i don't really want them to take advantage of our like date yeah rather like patch up yeah our I'm kind of a lot of pain. Campfire. let's go well did they did we go did it come out of this caves. cave yeah you it saw came out of this one right come out of one of those oh. caves originally yeah. oh god what about babies do Let's we want to camp carefully. in one of these caves I right mean, here? It's probably better, but we should make uh Jork, I think you're probably the best suited out of all of us. Would you mind going ahead of us and checking to see if there's anything inside that cave before we make way in? I can come too. Me and an emony will go. Alright, we'll be right behind the <gasps> Jorick and an emony bonding time adventure. Yeah, anemone, make a uh, perception check as you get into it. I like how an enemy is rubbing off on Chork. All right, let's That's see how Chork does with his perception. We saw it do well earlier. Fuck. This is oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. No, it's 30. Never mind. Anemone's going to yell, hello? Oh, let me do that right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I thought caves were right. supposed to be echoey. Hello? That's an that's awful closer. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it, hold on. Is this I got better it. Better than or something. <laughs> no, that's reverb. Uh, uh, ping pong. Hello? I just more like it. Hello? <laughs> I think it's good. Trip, trip, trip. Hey everyone, it's clear. Well, oh. right here at least. I screamed hello and okay. it was fine. All right, then I guess we can. I will do my best to get the seven foot dragonborn off the ground. Do you need okay. help? But I don't think it's gonna uh, work. Make a drag check. <laughs> yeah. A drag check. <laughs> strength. <laughs> yeah, strength check. While you while you do this, I'll Ignatius put the head down and make his way to help you out. Hey. And he looks around and he Good says stuff. that um looks like you're doing totally fine. I'll kind of be I'm like really smart. I un I understand <laughs> leverage and like where I need to push and like you know I grab a stick and like. <laughs> you use his height as an advantage and pivot him exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I kind of just like droop over your back slightly, <laughs> but like uh, but like my legs are dragging though. <laughs> okay, you're not that bad. Okay, you just, you just fell asleep. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm comfy. <laughs> <laughs> And he, he kind of like, like he like nestles Rex... a little bit into like the back of your hair a little bit. Rex it's all up, so like angels. it would just be like a yeah, little... just like a little, <laughs> just like a little snout. Yeah, yeah, my little snout like on the side of your shoulder. <laughs> all I smell is sulfur, <laughs> <laughs> especially after the dragon breath just coming out of your nose. <laughs> yeah. All right, you all make your way into the cave. Some. More gracefully than others. <laughs> I just <laughs> I get in there. And as you get in, Wick, can you make a perception check? At advantage, but I have a point of exhaustion, so just a straight <laughs> roll. Yep. Son of Bob. <laughs> as you guys all enter the cave, you see it's not very pleasant in here. There's a bunch of uh bones. Just half eaten corpses. And what seems to be a rather extensive pottery collection. Pottery. Ah, this reminds me of home, except for the pottery. <laughs> I will cast dancing lights so we can see. Lights come around the room, and you see what appears to be this gruesome hoard of what Nefeshni has been collecting. 
half trophies from his various hunts. You mm -hmm. see skeletons of some Yuan Ti, as well as some other creatures nearly as large as he was. And also what seemed to be different relics of uh, serpentine mm -hmm. nature. You see some that uh, have carvings of the moon on them. Others that seem to depict various snake heads. And several chests and things that you might be able to open. Treasure! I want to open them. Ah! Be careful! They might I be trapped. I took yeah, we don't need a mimic right now. <laughs> Ignatius just looks and he, like, he's like... I start opening hmm. all of they, them. They might be trapped! <laughs> I don't wait, care. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Treasure! I do! Let me, let me, let me, give me one second. Let me just detect magic. Treasure! Let me see if um, these things are... So, yeah. Uh, Ignatius, you feel magic as it... An enemy's opening one of the chests that, and you, that you sense magic coming from. Uh, an enemy, be careful. There's magic coming <laughs> yeah. from that chest. Ooh, with that, we'll that end the session. No. no. What's inside? <laughs> It's a mimic. It's gonna eat us. At least you guys have plenty of health left. No. I have twenty-three yeah. hit points. You are fine. I get. We're, I'm in five. I have six. <laughs> Look, and I'm at sixteen out of about 16. treasure. And oh no. To, well, think about it. together. The three of you have more hit points than an enemy has right now. So together. <laughs> I don't barely. Think... I don't think yeah, together is going to matter. The lay on hands. <laughs> I mean, he's he's got twenty health points in reserve at the minute. He's not put it down. Listen, yet, there's just a magic item inside. He's not going to make it be a mimic that's going to kill us. This entire session was him trying to kill us. I will say yeah, to be fair, if I I know that would be a brutal I move if I put you through that and then had a I'd mimic. I assume if there's a key health. for it, it's probably not a mimic because the mimic would have to copy the key exactly. hole. So if the key was what opened the chest, it probably that would be so mean of me to do if that's the case, wouldn't it? It would and be. If it and is. unfortunately, now he's given himself a week to plan that out if he wants to. It may not that have would been, be but now it could so be. mean. All this, all these things in this room. Good thing they're. Likely well, not going to come alive and hurt you. All of them, it's okay. So. Well, hey, at least at least now you know that I can detect Animate magic. Weapons. So next week I expect a list of what magical things are in this room, so that Ignatius can know and mm -hmm. definitely know exactly what they are because he's very smart. So he knows everything. I want to get not... money. Are there big gold coins? <sighs> well, you can know see. the school of magic. And it's not a mimic. Okay, it's not a mimic. It's just not a mimic. <laughs> that would be really funny if it I, was. I think the only reason <laughs> how I could tell the music was too peaceful. I mean, if 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 he wanted to be suspenseful, he would have had. Yeah, like, anytime undertones. you enter a cave, it's tempting to put the suspense music on the. Uh... Yeah. The ambient moon dark, relics perhaps it but... nice this time. I thought the it was moon like... relics are interesting though. Yeah. Yes. I, I'm I curious wanna... to explore this. I want to because investigate those next. Isn't thing. that what the you want to... Yeah, yeah, they worship the what me and Circus. yeah, what me and the UNT were talking about. That's why they the Nelfashni has a bunch of like snake heads and stuff too. Yeah, and yeah. that's why they He's spoke to me because I had the necklace. So I have a strong feeling they're gonna want these back, and we're not gonna be able to keep them. Probably not, but they could give us something in exchange for them. Yeah, I'm gonna keep at least money. One. Come on, they owe you now, guys. Do they? <laughs> They really... yeah, that, we don't well, mean clean roads. The deal was cabin. that we get to leave their cavern. We killed yes. the Nefeshini. So we've killed the Nefeshini. Now they don't have no, to kill us it back. Was, no, it was we kill it and then we get safe passage and a guide yeah. back. So yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to steal all the relics, put them yeah. on our person. And not go back. <laughs> no, we're going to go back, but we'll just say like, hey, there was a bunch of your guys' relics. The coast is clear now. Like, he's dead. How nice of you. I'll go look. Thank you. Yep. There's See nothing there. <laughs> Come bye. So, yeah. Good job on the fight, everybody. Yay. We did it. Mm -hmm. I... Good old I theme did. of this, uh, this area. That some of these creatures really counter some of these party members really well. You know, it's fine. 
but hey, some really shine. So you know, absolutely, we'll, we'll take it for what we get. <laughs> yeah, I, I was very much hoping I'm that uh, Rex's that. Um, necrotic damage was just gonna go real hard at that moment. That I was so praying cinematic. for it. But I, like, I knew the necrotic was doing well, so I was like, "Oh, gotta use it because I'm gonna get knocked anyways. It doesn't matter." <laughs> Yeah. And I'm of course, all for it. incorporating Even the legendary everybody. actions always just adds more chaos to any fight. Yes. Mm -hmm. As soon as you say it, it's like, we're dead. Like, ah, like <laughs> oh, that's no, it. real fight. Oh. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh no, this isn't just like a fight that we have to get over. This is like a session fight. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, good job, everybody. Um, hopefully, we'll all be back next week to reap Yay. the rewards of. Such a daring encounter, and perhaps mm -hmm. finally make all the way up to the mountain and see yet another of our trees. <gasps> That'd be oh, nice. Nice. Three years old. <gasps> Kayla's right. having a birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. Next Thursday. Yeah. Old. You're gonna be like so funny. old. Ew. You think hey, seven's old? You're like thirty-four. She did say I was like 32 <laughs> yeah, the other day, and I was like, I'm not 32, I'm Literally 31. Yesterday. Same thing. Oh. <laughs> once you're in your 30s, that's when the numbers start to blur. They don't well, I think matter once anymore. you're 30, you you're 32. just 30. But once you're 31, you're in it now. It's Yeah. <laughs> you're like, wow, I've reached like the, the next like decade milestone or whatever. Yep. Great. Then you turn 31, you're like, oh, well, here we oh. are. We're just in the, <laughs> I'm just a man in my 30s now. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling it though. 30 year old late, man. Late 20s feels really weird. It's like, I'm not, yeah, I can't be young anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Like, and I, side tangent, I've yeah. been in like two really long, like, relationships where now I'm like, wow, I'm in like my mid to late 30s. And like, if I go to a club, I'm going to get called like a boomer by like a bunch of gen alphas. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Like, even though I'm like I'm Gen Z, like they're gonna be like, oh my god, you're so you're so old. Why are you here? Why are you in the club? And it's like, because they're bumping Fallout Boy. What do you mean? I'm gonna be here. Oh my gosh. Turning so. 28 is kind of crazy though, because it's like, wow, I'm like actually almost 30. I know we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got time. The two years. We're all old. But, but yeah, yeah it's basically, baby point now, it's like, all right, got to be an adult now. Yeah. I turned 27 this year, Mark. I'm not, I don't feel mid-20s. I know, we've, we've, we've gone over that barrier at but this point now. Yeah, but it's all the 19 and, like, 20-year-olds that are in college that are, like, going to these clubs, and I'm like... This is why <laughs> I'm yeah, you're going to be that, that random... You know, older woman random in the old club lady. now. Yeah. The random cat lady <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Caramel and Salem just bop into the music because you have a basket and you're just like... <laughs> oh, Want to pet my cats? Now I'm stuck to like house parties and... <laughs> so, I mean, the last one you have is pretty fun, so it's not all bad. I don't always want to host. I want to go out and get plastered. <laughs> I can't do that if I'm hosting. I have to be responsible. <laughs> Most of you don't look past 24. Most of you don't look past nah. 24. <laughs> it's I mean... the goat. It's the goat. That's old. <laughs> yeah. The goat doesn't look 24. It, it looks helps. older. I'll say the last thing. That's that's how I think the old people could get away with being high schoolers in all the movies because we mm -hmm. we don't they don't look like they're in their mid 20s and then you realize no they are. Once you hit a yeah, certain then... point, the clock starts moving real slow visually, so it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get there eventually because like the difference between me at 18 and me and 20 a lot difference between me at 21 and me at 30 subtle <laughs> yeah Great. no i feel that me too maybe not as subtle so. as it used to be but i was gonna say i feel like you've no. changed a lot <laughs> since i first met you to now there but go. maybe not I don't yeah know. you're making my hair go all curly now i know it's so cute <laughs> it looks good Mm -hmm. Still, it's still in the yeah, I'm we didn't gonna, do the good like, yeah. stuff yet. If you like, I'm just wait, like are... not brushing it properly. Yeah. So. Did you perm it, or are you just doing like curl treatments? No, he just no, he just has curly yeah, hair. Yeah, my hair just does typically... this when I don't tell it not to. So. Yeah. Oh. So I got gel, and I'm gonna like mousse it and like diffuse <gasps> it and make it like yeah. hello curly nice. next time he like showers, and it's gonna be real fun. 
Heck yeah. Yep. So, so I'll be hip just like all the kids. <laughs> you could get a side shave and have like it like long and curly on the top. That could be. It's a possibility. That's alright. I remember side slowly going into like mullet face. <laughs> mullet face so is slowly. real tempting these days, isn't it? Ever, well, my hair is I mean, getting long in the back too. again. Yeah, I got. I got all those curls back there. We're Listen, good to go. Listen, last Just time he got his hair cut, I got a, I got a like wolf cut. All of it off, yeah. and I don't want that to happen again. So I'm borderline mullet. What if I'm we just borderline all mullet. mullet. Yes! <laughs> I just I'm literally have to not... take this section of hair and just chop yeah, it, and I, have a there, and I have a mullet. <laughs> Everyone just you tuck your hair behind your headphones, and you basically have a mullet. It's fine. Do you want me to have See? a mullet? We're there. <laughs> if anyone, if anyone could rock the mullet here, though, it would be UK because you could pull it off. You'd have the confidence. I don't know if that's true. There we go. See, I don't know. I don't know how I feel Billy about it with the mullet. Now I think about it hard enough. Is that you? <laughs> oh my god. I'm just gonna keep growing my butt, and then that'll be. Yeah. Oh, I was like, wait, what? This is, like, we're oh, dialing that... back to the gym conversation yeah, at the yeah. beginning of this. It's the... <laughs> it took full circle. Like full circle. Full circle. Hell dog or whoever they were, I'm coming for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Booty gains. And at that, I suppose we're done here. So thank you everyone <laughs> for watching. Bye. We'll see you again next week when Kayla's old. Farewell. Yep. Gross. Bye. 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 Bye.